the people in chat that don't appreciate this music are too young to have been gone clubbing yet, okay? That's what's going on. That was a good song. He's so goofy. Your mom's goofy, okay? That's why we connect so well. How you doing, fuckers? How you doing? I gotta be quiet because the kid is sleeping and that barely ever happens nowadays. How are you doing? Cultural appropriation. I identify as a cultural appropriator, so don't go against my identity. And welcome back for identifying as an intelligent being because you're watching Tommy K. Dance class. Amazing. 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 What's the agenda today? The fucking agenda is that you plebs choose what I'm playing next. That's what's gonna fucking happen. Yo, early gang, man, let's do this. This is for early gang. This is for early gang. What do you got, early gang? You look tired? Go figure, man. Ah, do I look tired, huh? Oh, fucking hell. There's an open roleplay game? Bro, I can't play any multiplayer games, man. This kid is shitting on me any second now. Guys, I am offering you five options. <laughs> To choose from what we're doing today in Ahoy 4. I got a new thing, new list. Send me the new list, man. What the fuck, Makuni? What the fuck, Makuni? 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 Where's the list? Where's the list? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. He has a new list, he says. Are you fucking serious? They gave Andesia a focus clean case of Andesia? Tommy K effect. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Andesia? What are you talking about? I don't understand. The fuck's on Daisia? Makoni has a new list apparently. This guy always has lists. He's like Oscar Shin. So we're waiting for his list. Oh, there's the list. There's the list. Yo, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, Makoni. What the fuck, Makoni? Is it. What the hell? Oh shit. Hex Britannica. Hex Britannica. Hex Britannica. Thousand week Reich. Oh shit, man. Oh shit. Thank you for all the subs, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Don't forget every five gifts that we're doing a question. I still owe one question from yesterday that we're doing in a second, man. Thank you very, very much, man. You can just text for now. You can. You can use text now. What? What you mean? What you mean? I was actually planning to play Germany Cousin Redux today, because Makoni, I was checking the list and it says you can play Technocratic Germany in Kaiser Redux? Thousand Week Right? This is amazing, Makoni. Jesus. You have too much free time? It's a work in progress, it's gonna be way prettier. You're fucking insane. Look how hard he's trying for me to make good content so we can be millionaires. End of a new beginning. Didn't that what it oh man. The problem is I remember a lot of these mods and I like them, but the problem with a lot of these mods is they're too easy. You may just make a 40 whiff and you win. New ways. I don't remember this mod. Red Flood? Jesus, man. In the name of the Tsar. Oh, shit, man. Red World. Okay, I don't know this one. Damn. Red World. Fucking hell. Germany and Kaiser Redux is amazing. That's not what I think I want to do today, but I want to give you guys a choice. Oh, what do you think about Millennium Dawn, uh, Makoni? Makoni, by the way, you can put in 23rd of September. The dev has texted me. They're going to have a big upgrade. Thank you, Block. 23rd of September, big Millennium Dawn upgrade. Thank you, Blaming. Thank you, everyone. Millennium Dawn is old. You're old. You have no idea what you're talking about. This has been massively updated, you muppet. Um, yes, I read that, Makoni. You said that the dev said that the Gulf nations are amazing. Like Saudi Arabia and stuff was really good. Hmm, Canada is supposed to be very good. Russia, obviously interesting, right? It's it's very hard for me to play Putin though, man. But we could bring back the USSR. That sounds interesting. I want to write down what I'm feeling for you guys today. What do I want to offer you guys? So my offers are, even though I kind of manipulated you already. I'm offering Germany, Kaiser Redux. I'm offering Russia, Millennium Dawn, non-Putin. I'm not playing Putin. I can't ethically get through that. Uh, France, yeah, France also. Hmm, I, dude, I'm even putting in France Millennium Dawn. I'm into, I'm, in, I'm into that. France Millennium Dawn. Bring back Napoleon. This will be Napoleon. We will do Napoleon there. What else we got? Oh fuck, TNO. I can't. I can't play TNO, man. I I can't. Ah, the fucking pony mod. Mm, Hearts of Iron Ash. Oh, what the fuck? It's the 1800s, all over the world, alien vaults were found full of all sorts of technology. They were harnessed by the empire of the time and a better world was formed. In 1923, the world broke. Something happened in the Rhineland and other things soon followed. Tsunamis were kept... That's a fucking cool, dude. 
Nation Kalvala Click. When the Dry Baltic Sea came about as a result of the Dark Month, the fledging Estonian Republic successfully defeated the United Baltic Duchy, forcing them west. However, bandits, blah blah blah. They have amazing content. Damn, that sounds amazing. The Storm Children in the Philip War. Dude. The fuck? Okay, I'm putting that in. Hearts of Iron Ash. And I don't know what I would play there yet. Okay, Ash. It's a post apocalyptic world. Uh, this is just a list where info is gathered. I need to still get on the graphic designer to make it look pretty blah blah. Makoni, man, you're going. I thought you're busy, man. So we have one more option. What is still a nation I didn't play in Kaiser Redux yet? That's good. USA. I never really played USA, yeah, but I'd rather play Germany. I just played China, Belarus, mm, Austria. A bit too normy. Road to 56. World 56 is, in my opinion, one of the best mods ever, but it's 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 very multiplayer, isn't it? Like, here I will feel a co-op with Alex the Rambler. I gotta talk to Alex. Uh, me and Alex the Rambler have planned a co-op for a while, and we could play World 256. I'm gonna text him about that. What else you got? We'll go back to... Dude, there's a lot in World 256, huh? Kaiser Redux, there it is. Iraq? Ooh. The Heshi... Mm, dude, I love Kaiser Redux, man. It's so fun. What's a personal card? It's a card with a personal question, man. Um, Road to 50, Kaiser Redux. I never played South Italy, but we just had to, no, we didn't have an Italy game. Hmm, China, Russia, Bohemia. Thank you, Crash. Ah, uh, Turkey. Ah, we played that so much. Germany. Well, I have that on. I have, I literally put that already on. Kaiser Redux, Germany. Um, playing Jesus Christ Poland. I kind of offered you, I wanted to offer you guys that. Play Poland with Jesus Christ. I think I might put that in. Congo sounds interesting. UK, National France, Serbia, Mexico, Ukraine. I'm interested in that, actually. Thank you for all the subs, man. Thank you guys so much, man. Radical Sentinel in New England and Rise Race Fun. Oh my god. Mod, random county placement. Prima Victoria, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go simple for now. Let's go simple. I'm also adding Ukraine, which will totally not win. Don't influence people though in Redux. Okay, that's today's offers, chat. That's today's offers. I think we already know who's gonna win this. I don't give a shit, man. They are all I'm feeling all of this. What do you guys got? What do you guys got? What do you guys got? So we have Germany Redux. We have Russia MD. We have France MD. We have the Ash mod. Or we have Ukraine Redux. We're doing 10 minutes, 10 minutes, because I still offer some questions, man. I gifted 100 subs. We're going to go through some questions. Don't spoil what's going to happen, guys. Don't spoil. Let's just see what happens, man. Let's just see what happens. If it's Russia MD, I will not play Putin. That is not going to happen, dude. That's not going to happen. Let's do some questions, guys. This question is still from a viewer yesterday who gifted five subs, but then I was too... I didn't have time anymore at the end of the... Hearts of Ash is experimental. It might suck, okay? Keep that in mind, chat. Makoni says Hearts of Ash might be not done yet. Mm. As we're waiting for the final results, uh, a little update here on the 101 League. So, I have amazing people working on the 101 right now. These guys are adults. These guys are not little edgy kids. Amazing, man. I, I'm very, very happy with these guys. Um, it's it's going to take time. The main developer, I'm not going to share his name because people annoy him and stuff. Thank you, Roxas, man. Um, is that... Um, where was I? Oh, my brain is so much, man. The kid, you know, it turns out my kid is a... I don't know how to say in English. It's a kid that always wants to be held. If you don't hold him, he goes crazy. And that's a bit... That is what it is, you know. Um, and yeah, the development of the mod is happening, but it might take till the end of the year. So I was considering having Season 1 of the uh, Hearts of Iron 4 101 League to be in an old mod. The problem is there is no mods anymore. Gang Gear mod hasn't been updated in forever. I would love to play Leonard's 1v1 mod from the National, but Leonard is a bit unresponsive. And I always felt like Leonard is a bit weird, so I don't... He's probably gonna be like, oh, give me money, or I'm not gonna give you the mod or something, and I... We will see about that. Uh, thank you, Clave. So, we might just have to wait till the end of the year until the 1v1 league happens, but I don't give a shit. As long as it's good. As long as... As long as we have content out of it, man, and it's gonna be great. Esports for the future, who cares? The child is clingy. There's a name for that. Some children, they just wanna be held, so they feel close to someone, you know? You gotta make the kids stop crying to get in hands because my cousins were like that they always cried until they were held for like three months or more okay thank you for telling me how to uh, raise a child also i wanted to ask you guys what is your favorite activity of wasting time playing magic the gathering easy yesterday i did a big it's not a mistake i love it 
Yesterday, I got Magic Gathering on my phone, and I've been playing all night on my phone. Playing Magic the Gathering. Your stream? Wow. Probably a good answer, actually. World of Warcraft, YouTube and gaming. Playing Millennium Dawn. Watching streams. Mach bitte Russland, haha. Sprech mal Englisch, du Vogel, Alter. Und dann guck mal, was passiert. In, in der Pol, ja, du Vogel, Junge. Jacking off is not a waste of time, right? It's just fun. So I guess uh, playing video games and watching streams is a top answer here, huh? Okay, we still have seven minutes, man. Let's do some questions. Can you stop the stream for an hour? I need to do something. Just jerk off for 10 seconds and you're done, man. Also, your stream also distracts me way too much. I know the feeling, man. Thank you, Dakiderirello. Thank you, man. Take a walk in the forest. How is that a waste of time, you idiot? What is a waste of time? Walking the forest. Fucking dumb. Thank you, Etirallion. If you joke a little times a day, it's definitely a waste of time. Nah, true. True, true. True, true, true. Don't spoil who wins the poll, man. Don't spoil. I lop in discords. I don't I don't doubt that. I don't think you're lying there, man. I think that's the truth. Ash is not bad, but it's more focused on the story and hasn't got a lot of content, okay? Well then don't vote for Ash. Just watch the Mercenaries videos? Yeah, very very cool video, man. Really fun. Really fun. Andrew Tate rules Romania and Hoi 4. Next question, gentlemen. Next question. Watching Dankers? That's really a waste of time, man. Wow, he's playing a major and does the same tactic again and again? Crazy, man. Wait, what? What is this question? <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not making this up. The question is, we now have 100 years of women having the right to vote. Should we stop this experiment now? <laughs> This is a great game, dude. This was this was worth all the money, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, good question. I'm obviously going to say uh, no. It's great. Okay, Twitch admin. I think a far more interesting question is um, question sponsored by Andrew Tate. <laughs> is this the Andrew Tate game or some shit? Um, I think a much better question is something that the Democrats are pushing sometimes, for example, Hillary Clinton does in the US. Should uh, 16 and 17 year olds be allowed to vote? That's where it gets a little bit more interesting, right? Other than this meme question. Where I always stand with the point, I'm very much against that. Uh, 16 and 17 year olds are not ready yet in their head. I am, I'm seeing you young people every day. I work with people behind the scenes in Discord all the time. You guys are fucking retards, okay? And I don't blame you. When I was 16, 17, 18, 19 even, I was a complete retard. I was a completely clown retard, man. I didn't know anything about anything, okay? So I, I think... No. You could even go very far, right? And be like, only if you pay taxes, you're allowed to vote. But then the rich will rule everything, right? Yeah. Dude, you guys are gonna hate when I say this, right? You know what I've, what I've been watching last night? I've been... I found... Oh, God, here we go. We're going down the rabbit hole. You guys ready? Let me get some chill synth wave. You know what I've been, what, I always share everything with you guys, and I'm not I'm not afraid to say this. You know what I found yesterday, and I really looked into and watched a lot of content of? Matt Walsh. I, I, I really got into Matt Walsh yesterday, man. I was watching a lot of his shit. Anyway, next question. Next question, next question, next question. Next question. Ooh. The question is a bit weird and I'm gonna rephrase it. The question is, would you really would you rather have one really thick blanket or two to three little blankets? Obviously one thick blanket. But I wanna I wanna rephrase the question. What is your blanket meta, Chad? What is your blanket meta? A thick one, do you have a lot of pillows? You know, a real man has one pillow, one thin blanket, right? You don't have fucking five pillows as a man, right? Right? A weighted blanket? No blanket during summer. Dude, a human being, I don't maybe it's a German thing, but I need to always feel a blanket on my on my skin. I need to always feel a blanket. No matter if it's 50 degrees. You know, I need something on my skin, dude. Two pillows? I don't even get two pillows, man. Doesn't Matt Roach literally call himself a racist? I just got into him yesterday. Can you show me where I did that? Thank you, Perkinator. Thank you, nice. Thank you. I, I'm a very I have a very thin blanket because I sweat a lot, right? I, I like it cold. And I have, I'm have i so old, I have an ergonomic pillow. You know, I have this ergonomic pillow, man. That's for your neck, dude. And since then, I sleep very well. And also very... You know, I don't have a pillow like this. It's very, very small. Two pillow meta? You guys are insane. Greetings from Thailand. Sabadika! 
Cop Coon One random 100 year old pillow and thin blanket. There's probably one guy watching who didn't wash his pillow sheets in fucking months. 100% man. 100%. Easy there, geek. Ah, let's go into the next question. We have four minutes left until you chosen what we're gonna play today, guys. Matt Walsh literally has theoretic fascist in his bio. Okay. Can you show me where? Um, I mean, you guys are gonna just say yes to this question. Um... Can you do this? I, I did this on stream before, Hamdi. I did this on stream before, but I would like to not... Um, I would like to not go into World Walker today. Theoretic fascist. There's probably context behind this. Obviously, that could be considered edgy at first, but I would... I would guess there's... If you give him the chance to explain, there would probably be a way. I hope so. All I can say is, I saw him yesterday in some videos. I don't know if that was in his bio, man, and... He made a lot of sense to me. Uh, what is the new meta division with? Is it... Who cares right now, man? Okay. He said that as a joke. Okay. Thank you, T-Labo. Yeah, maybe he says that because they all call him fascist. Who the fuck cares? Good question here, guys. And I think the answer is completely and utterly yes. You are winning the lottery and you never have to do anything anymore. Will that be a life for you? Yes. Yes. Dude, the one week before the baby came, you know, I, I, I stopped my stream, right? I was not streaming anymore. And the baby wasn't out. For one week, Week, Lee, me and Lisa were just completely one with Earth, man. We have enough money in the bank account. I had no stream. Lisa had no job. We had nothing to do. And we just are. You just... Imagine imagine for a sec. You have infinite money and you don't have to work anymore. There's this new world. You're like, whoa, I can see the world and travel and meet people and have different partners. And I can, I can do a cooking course and I could do some yoga and I could work as a roofer for one month or something. I don't know. And suddenly... You fucking alive, man. Money is the shekel on our legs. Money and work is what the what the elite is doing to bind us, guys. <laughs> Different partners? Hey, you gotta... <laughs> Did I just say that if you're free, it should be Different partners? <laughs> anyway, um, you can trade with Coca. You can trade with Coca. Why would you... I have another great, great question. Okay, and after that, uh, let's let's see the final answer. Any moment now, final answer. Thank you, Trooper Heavy. Final answer coming in. I always feel bad for Nikki and Hazel. I really like these two guys. Uh, and if you know me, I'm not in any way, shape, or form anti-trans or whatever the fuck. They know that. But they always have it very hot with me, man. I always come in here like, mm, Matt Walsh, Matt Walsh. They don't have it easy. That's why they wrote me a two-page open letter yesterday that I'm going to respond to soon. Let's see who wins. It's totally Germany, Kaiser Redux. It's totally Germany or Russia MD. Yeah, easy Germany Redux. I'm in. I'm in. There's apparently a technocratic path. Gentlemen, Kaiser Redux Germany. I'm quite excited. I'm quite excited. I really missed Toy 4, man. I really did. I really did. Final question, guys. I love that question. And I would like you to be honest. As always, I'd like you to be honest, guys. In what TV show would you like to play? First of all, let's take out cartoons and anime. Because, I, dude, I would be honored to voice an anime character one day, man. I would... Dude, I, I practiced my whole life. <laughs> you know, I've been practicing this. So, um... Picky Blinders? Kids at SZ. The Office is a great answer. The Office is a great, great answer. I think to me it's The Sopranos, man. Like, being like an Irish... An Irish assassin or something, The Sopranos that tries to kill Christopher Moltisanti and then they kill me or something, I will be... Goddamn. I, I think I would say... Or Game of Thrones, yeah. Game of Thrones. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, The Walking Dead. But yeah, uh, The Office is a great answer. The Office is a great answer. Who will you be in the Peaky Blinders? You'd be that fucking homeless guy where where, where Tommy Shepard would be like, Oh, lot. You fucking poor? You gotta work then, oh, lot. Oh. That, that would be your role in Peaky Blinders, okay? Fucking don't even try. So, let's play some Kaiser Redux, boys. Let's play some Kaiser Redux. Redux, Redux, Redux. Back to. I was about to say back to World of Warcraft, but I'm talking about Hearts of Iron. Let's go. So, Marconi said there's a technocratic path. Let me change the stream title, man. My wet dream double point Germany into technocracy. <laughs> technocracy in Kaiser Redux. Let's fucking go. I'm excited. This title is against... I can't say wet. Wait, is wet banned? 
The word wet is banned. W-E-T. That's banned. Okay, why is the game not starting? The word wet is banned. The fuck? Oh, there it is. What if I identify as a, as water? I feel very offended here, man. Probably because hot top streams. Yeah, probably. Yeah. How the fuck is moist critical still on the website then? <laughs> the Tommy finally learned what a technocracy is. Dude, all these muppets on the fucking YouTube comments. I don't think Tommy knows what a technocracy really fucking is, man. First of all, I can have my. You, p certain political systems can be integrated in certain ways, and even if you motherfucking, bam bam technocracy definition. A government of control of society or industry by an elite of technical experts. In its core, that's what I'm talking about. You little 16-year-old children, you always chill in the YouTube comments, man. I am a political major. I research this shit all the time because I have no friends. I know what a technocracy really is. It's obvious that I'm explaining what I mean under my interpretation of technocracy, man. And you guys need to get the stick out of your fucking ass. The YouTube comments, man. I tell you, the YouTube comments. You just need to go. Let's let's try this. Little Little test here. Little test. Tommy K. Technocracy. Technocracy is OP. Watch this. It's just going to be like, he doesn't know what technocracy is. Um, actually, everybody is normal. Okay, everybody. Okay, mm, I never, it never works. Hmm. How Corona made Tommy a technocrat. Here we go. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Okay, you guys are actually not saying that. Okay, no one is actually against me. Dude, I remember I was checking YouTube. Maybe I have this filter where I only see negative comments. Normally people shit on me, but actually everybody's nice. Sort by new? No. Never ever sort comments by new. Never. Never. Tommy just guys lit himself. Technocracy for the win, man. What, would you rather have fucking elite scientists lead your country or fucking Joe Biden? Hello, everybody. My name is Joe Biden. I don't know what my name is and I never blink. They're using deep fakes nowadays because I'm actually very, very sick and have corona again. How is that guy leading the most important country in the world, man? That is so fucking scary, man. Trying to become mayor of Leipzig by propagating technocracy. I don't think the human race is ready for technocracy yet. Um, people are too dumb. Kaiser Redux. This is a new picture. This is, this is all very new. The German Empire Kaiser Redux, man. You know what I've been thinking? I've been thinking of going elite difficulty, man. Just to show that I still got it. Oof. Maybe you need to... Maybe you need to calm down, Tommy. Minus 15 PP. Oh, if you go on high difficulty, you get more army XP. More supply consumption. Minus 30 research speed. Do it, do it, Tommy, do it. Tommy, do it. You guys realize that elite means that the enemy has 0.0, .0 supply issues. Super broken. They can put one million divisions in one tile. <laughs> Will the founder of Red Bull be considered part of the technocratic elite? What? Um, it's dumb as fuck. Don't do it. Yeah, look at all the people that say do it, do it, do it. You guys are idiots, man. I did, I did this many times on my streaming career, and it's broken. The enemy has no more uh, supply issues, which means you can never beat them anymore. They're completely unstoppable. Do veteran then? That is not cool. We're trying to create content here, right? I either go elite for the YouTube title, or I don't. You know what, man? Think I'm a fucking bitch? Think I'm a fucking bitch? Think I'm a fucking bitch? It's time to show you guys. I've been working out, man. I've been working out so much, man. I'm really getting back to workouts, man. My cardio is coming back. We're slowly getting there. Slowly, slowly. It's not much yet, but I'm coming for you, Macroni. I'm coming at you! This is almost no effort here. Look at this. Just fucking wait, man. Fucking wait, Marconi, dude. I'm gonna wrestle you, bitch. Anyway. He probably isn't watching anymore. He's already talking to his serving girlfriends. He has like 10 of them. Let me play the game. Gentlemen, I'm doing WASD. I still think the most important mod I forever needs is that you can use WASD to move like this. <sighs> Kaiser Redux as Germany on Elite. Okay. I genuinely want to pull this off. I'm not even fucking kidding. I want to genuinely pull this off. Minus 30 research. Okay, this is actually... I want to... I don't see any muscle. Kuba, stop looking in the mirror, okay? Maybe somehow your monitor cable went off and you're looking at yourself in the black screen right now, okay? Try to turn your uh, monitor back on, okay? Just level 10 forts. We gotta be a big exploity, man. 
Okay, let's take this actually very serious. I'm not gonna like roleplay here. I'm gonna take this very serious. Germany, Kaiser Redux, we have click on the portal to switch between Kaiser and Kanzler view. Ah, cool. Kaiser and Kanzler. Victories of the World War. Because I won World War II, we have a big debuff here, like in vanilla, just with the allies. I have quenched militarism. My military is fucking trash. And we have Imperial Pride, which makes me surrender not so easily. This is gonna be very hard, man. Now, isn't there a thing to see paths? How does that work? Path guides. I want to become technocratic Germany. How to get Schleicher Germany. How to get Rotor Morgen Civil War. Okay, what? They're not really explaining much. Let's take a look at the focus tree. Technocratic Germany. I hope that tree gets a bit bigger. I I don't know. How would I get technocratic Germany? The Civil War is the technocratic path. On the right side. The Civil War leads to technocracy. How to get the Rotor Morgen German Civil War. When Black Monday comes around, do the first Black Monday focus. You should go more into the tree if you'd like. You will soon get events about instability. In Run on the Banks, choose do nothing. In Colonial Financial Troubles, devote all. Hey, if I have a Civil War, will the enemies have the elite bonus? That means I'm fucking dead, man. I have no chance, man. That means we already lost, man. Thank you, Gliza. Congrats for becoming a dad, Tommy. Devote all resources to colonies and companies, blah, 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 blah. Get the German Civil War and witness the Kaiserreich. After a time, Willy will kill himself <laughs> and Germany will fall apart. Simply pick long left King Ruprecht and enjoy. No, to get the left Australian line path, Dolphus. Are you guys sure that this is the... This is the uh, technocratic... Technocratic... I have a weird feeling that this is broken and I cannot do this. Because they will have the elite bonuses and I have no chance. Oh, man. Parade, Europa Commission, Justice and Freedom. Popular Germany, Stable Germany, Elite Gymnasium. This looks like this looks like technocracy. Thank you for all the subs, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This looks technocratic. Hmm. Hmm. There will be a new focus for you. You need to do the Civil War. Okay, I will do the Civil War. I will do the Civil War. Okay, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Navy plan, military plan. <clears throat> I think the problem is that the Civil War enemies are going to have EV bonuses. And that's going to hurt bad, man. Hurt really bad. Hmm. Hmm. I would like to rush that resource slot before I lose this focus tree. Just get factories. I'm, I'm starting state of the economy 42 days. This is gonna be no joke. I can already smell that, man. This is gonna be no fucking joke. Okay. Oh god. There's actually a chance we might not be able to do this, but fuck it, man. Let's fucking, let's fucking, let's fucking fuck. You know what I mean, guys? Let's just fuck. Let's be a fucker, man. Let's not get fucked. Let's be the fucker. That's something Andrew Tate will say, you know? You gotta be the fucker, man. You gotta be the fucker. <clears throat> no, no, yes, yes, yes. Oh shit, because we all remember one, I have a lot of naval dockyards. Guns will probably be very important. I don't know how much I lose in the Civil War though. One on civil trains is very important. Blah, blah, blah. Armored car plus one reconnaissance later. This is whatever. Okay, how many more mills do I have in the bank? Not many. Okay. Pff, one, one, one. Bam, bam. I like it like this for now. Okay. Oh man. The enemy will have the bonus of elite. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, though, man. We got this. Let's just unite everything. Unite, unite. Alrighty, alrighty. Speed 4 so I don't get ADHD. And let's take a look, man. Not role playing here, man. Don't give a shit. We're the German Kaiserreich and we won World War One. That's the lore here. That's the lore. Oh, that's the lore. I just got a lot of mills, man. Uh, a lot of shifts, I mean. That's a friend. How about one, two, three, four? Okay, that's how I'm running it. That's how I'm running it, man. Okay, okay, okay. So once again. Uh, when Black Monday happens to the first Black Monday focus, you will get instability events. Uh, you blah blah blah. I I get minus five consumer goods because I have a voting right in legation councils. Um, 
Losing at events. In run on the banks, do nothing. In the colonial financial troubles, devote all resources to the colonies. Okay. Okay, minus five consumer goods, but yeah, Black Monday is gonna hit in a sec. This court has a guide for the crook deck technocrats. Dude, I'm way too lazy to join the Discord right now. Pick a flag. What are you talking about? The, the interesting thing about your comment is that I can become the group technocrats. That sounds fucking hella amazing. I don't want to join any Discord, man. You guys can just, like, tell me what I need to do. But this is a Redux or another, like... Kaiserreich is more sophisticated and normal, and Redux is, like, completely insane. Poland can literally make Jesus Christ. Like, Redux is completely... <laughs> mashallah, mashallah, you know? Corporate dictatorship and coming. The communists are doing bad stuff. Like, it's... Kaiser Redux is very insane. Everybody goes insane and does insane stuff. In a wearable Discord, that is. I can pick a flag, but I'm not gonna do that until I'm what I am. Is the baby crying? Nice he's crying. Ooh, fucking hell. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. Always use condoms, guys. Jesus Christ. How you doing? How you doing? How's the baby? You know when you watch these TV shows and there's this young couple, they just got a kid and they always look like... Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, okay. Let's fucking play. Let's play the game. Let's play the game. Elite difficulty, Kaiser Redux, Technocratic Germany, Afghanistan War. Same opening as always, nothing weird. And Black Monday. I gotta take the Black Monday focus next. Stock market crashes. I need to give a lot of shit to the colonies and I shit do nothing, right? I do nothing. Minus 30 stability. They are running at the banks. Didn't that happen in China last week? Like in real life? And I am not. Anarchist selected in France. Wildcat strikes and Black Monday. So we are getting fucked a little bit, man. France borders are bad, holy. Uh, okay, I need to take the Black Monday focuses. Which is this, right? Nee, that's military. Sorry, what's the Black... Ah, here, aftermath for Black Monday. I need to wait for Black Monday to end. I would really like to get this resource slot. Ah, how long is Black Monday? Black Monday has ended. That should be happening any moment now. What if I just do nothing for a sec? And hope that Black Monday ends in a second. There it is. It ends plus five stability. There you go. Aftermath of Black Monday plus five stability. Approving the new Stadthalter. Wow, that's that's not in the guide. First Black Monday. You will soon get events. Choose to do nothing. Devote everything to colonies. When companies ask for help, choose sacrifices must be made. Tighten your belt over the soup kitchen issue. Oy, 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 oy. But what about this event? Oh, this is more about Middle Africa, man. Congrats Thank you, Mad Rat. Congrats on being your dad. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think this has nothing to do for our gameplay. Schnee or Göring? Let's set Göring down there, I guess. This one doesn't matter. It looks like it, yeah. Okay, okay. Next, I need to give a lot of shit to the colonies. So we're voluntarily really destroying our country right now. Polish monopolies are crashing. Hadric's interrupting me. I feel like the heaven hostage don't still feel. Okay, Hadric, you go play in your little Hoi Fortis court, okay? <clears throat> and now I give everything to the colonies. Take the Hoi Four player test. Oh, God. The Pope died. Just when Purin comes into. Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Do you prefer majors or minors? Oh shit, that's kind of a weird answer. What? Who made this? What the fuck is that? Are you better at micro or macro? I... I always sucked at macro, but I was always good at micro back in the day when I became a streamer. That is a fact. Uh, multiplayer? What do you prefer to micro? Special Forces Infantry, this is totally me. What's your favorite mod? Road to 56 roleplay, this is totally Tommy. Political Ideology IRL. Do you make spreadsheets? How would you rate your skill level? Top 8. When did you start playing Hoi 4? 
This has to be Tommy K. Who the fuck is... I'm a long-haired Russian fanboy? Who the fuck is Ixlik? Tommy K, literally the Tommy K answers. My pick, my face is in this. What the fuck? I'm a fat. Let's go back to the game. So we're doing Black Monday. What? What the fuck? Oh no! Senpai! Jeez, careful. We have the China Wars. Everything is going. And yeah, man, minus 40% research because of difficulty, man. This is gonna hurt, dude. This is gonna hurt. You should have picked SJW to get yourself. Am I not, like the most known centrist on Twitch, man? Like, come on. I'm like Mr. Center. Come on, dude. Check focus tree of Bohemia. Why? You do that. Japanese troops garrison Tianjin. That's not good because that's my city. Mino Laiki. The Chris guy probably put you as SJW. Yeah, for him, I'm not right enough. How long will you. For, probably the people that make websites like this. If you believe the Holocaust happens, you're already too left wing for him. That's the Hoifer community, man. That's how fucking fucked up they are. Easy, man. Dude, you're the most SJW in the Hoi4 community. Once again, my argument I made 10 seconds ago. Being an SJW in the Hoi4 community doesn't seem... Like, you know, if this is the political spectrum, you have left here. This one is right wing, straight up Hitler, and this is the middle. If you are like here, Hoi4 players will consider you an SJW. Yeah. I genuinely believe that. Not even kidding. Democratic Coalition in Mexico. Halbstarke machen Terror. Bunch of kids are fucking up the country. Stability is going down like crypto. Okay. The most SJW in the Hoifa community defends Dave Chappelle and Jordan Peterson. Kuba, Kuban asks for help out. Who is Kuban? This is not part of the thing, so I can just say no. Or just do nothing. Yeah, who is Kuban? Fuck you. I'm just trying to fuck up my country as best as I can to become technocratic. Austria and Italy at war. Financial troubles in the colonies? Give them as many resources as possible. So I'm giving a lot of economy to the colonies, which makes the Germans ultra mad. Ultra, ultra mad. And now, next I need to do... When companies ask for help, true sacrifices must be made. True sacrifices must be made. Okay. When will you recreate the Mongolian Empire IRL? Well, I know, I know a lot of Mongols when I see you. Don't. Agricultural crisis. Our country is falling apart. Is this part of this? Soup kitchen when banks collapse, blah, blah, blah. I'm always trying to take the, the thing that fucks up my country the most. The Emir requests arms. I'm helping Afghanistan because this is kind of a bit anti-German. Bail out Junkos. Liquidate. Dude, I'd rather have the resource slot to be honest. Because I'm losing this focus tree anyway, right? I'd rather take the resource slot into the next thing. Okay, I'm waiting for companies asking for help. I don't have strikes anymore. Nice. I'm waiting for companies ask for help. And I'm gonna say sacrifices must be made. The DA keep the approach bankruptcy. Abessinen Eisenbahn. Keep it running. I'm just doing everything that's negative. How long will you stream today? Fuck do I know, man. I've. <laughs> We're just gonna try to take everything negative. Romania nationalizes the oil fields. Not good. Andrew Tate making that oil money. Giving 50% to the workers. I got Alex Ramble on the test. PewDiePie was on Twitch? He was. But then the Fire Nation attacked. Ba, 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 ba. I have two factories. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you in Dungeons and Dragons? No. 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 I play Legends of Andor, but I never play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Just try to make it worse and worse and worse here. Let's go. Worse and worse and worse. I love how you still have less consumer factories than vanilla United States. 
the woke left cancelled him yeah pewdiepie said the n-word which sucks he apologized but twitch was like hey we gotta pair on button forever otherwise our company is going down the hill which i personally think is a massive mistake by twitch i still believe that i tommy k should be the new ceo of twitch i would make this website so much bigger man i will fly to japan talk to pewdiepie get him back in i will go to dr disrespect i will resolve all the stuff get him back in i will make sure the big streamers all get contracts so they are not taken by youtube i will talk to community i will improve i will no offense focus so much on fucking woke shit and actually on business decisions to make this website fucking great again and i will be a great ceo and uh jeff bezos if you are looking for a guy okay Emmett Shear is just fucking doing the weirdest shit on twitter all the time fucking what the fuck is he doing I would be the greatest CEO. Easy, man. Easy. I would turn Twitch into a money-making machine. I would go to celebrities, man, and tell them to make Twitch accounts and stream on Twitch, and they get nice contracts and shit. I would just really try to network a lot to get people in. Um, I'm sending... I'm sending... I, sh I should maybe not send so much to Afghanistan, but hey, let's just destroy the country, man. The G in LGBTQ stands for gamer. There was a Twitch ad. <laughs> Colonial Reform Middle Africa. I'm waiting for the company's ask for bailout. Kingdom of Poland joins me. Okay, I'm getting my research slot. Okay. Which I will need in this difficulty, man. It's very, very likely I'm just gonna die. Because the rebels have the elite bonuses. Help companies. Sacrifices have to be made. Now, next thing is... I'm telling the companies that can suck it. I'm, like, just being a really bad Kaiser. Um, tighten your belt over the soup kitchen issue. Tighten your belt over the soup kitchen issue. <sighs> I don't want to look at the beam and focus tree, okay? You're not my real mom. I don't have to look at this tree. Syndicalists are doing their moves. The real game hasn't started yet. Once I'm the techno... Ugh. Kratz, we're ready. And as CEO, I will give Tommy K 99% uh, of all the sub money. Okay, we must tighten our belts. Fuck the soup kitchens. Oil treaty. The Mountain Republic. Is that part of the thing? It's not, I think. So, um, say no to the soup kitchen. When banks start to collapse... Have his majesty still say no. Okay. When banks collapse... Oh, you must flow, yeah. When the banks collapsed... What is your good and honest opinion about Andrew Tate? Check the last two streams. I talked about him yesterday. I don't want to do it again. Check yesterday. <laughs> Minus 41 stability moment. This is what you need to get the civil war, boys. Costa Rica requests assistance. No. KDP wins the Russian election. Bailout for banks. No. Oh god, I'm really fucking the country. Jesus, man. This is like the I'm like the worst politician since Justin Trudeau. Um, in the expropriations event, say be gone. We are not syndicalists. If you did it right soon enough, you'll get the civil war. How to get Bavaria? Oh, you can't play Bavaria. I don't. I want to. Can someone help me a bit? How do I get to technocrats? Like, what do I do after this? Okay, the final thing I need to do is we are not syndicalists. We are not syndicalists. And then the civil war happens, which I will probably lose. Because my enemy has elite bonuses. I will fucking try it, oh man. You need to win as the commies? Is that true? I sent you a DM. France shows its true face. I sent it to you in Discord. Yo, what are these? What is that, Marconi? What the fuck are you sending me? Look at that shit, huh? That's gonna be... Look, feed picture! Feed picture, ooh! So you send it to me? Sorry, what the f... How do I... Okay, you send it to me? The crop path. After the Civil War, you get a new tree. You elect the SPD and go down the tree and wait till Karl Liebknecht retires in 1941. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to wait till 90... Are you fucking serious? Fuck off, you... No way I have to wait till 41. Let's get this guy. How do I get the crop megacore path? 
Firstly, cause the civil war. When the revolution has taken place and you have defeated Imperial Germany, wait for the Congress to be unlocked after you did the victory focus, which will be followed by an event chain. In the Congress, elect the SPD and wait for Liebknecht to retire 100 days later, not 1941. Liar. For his last focus, now do the democratic promise focus and elect the market liberal DLP. Do the entire DLP focus tree and go with the full plan and the event at the end of the focus tree. Then you become the Krupp Megacorp. So do focus tree, beat Imperial Germany. Okay, this is fucking complex. Jeez, man. What's up, Fat Allen? Malta declares independence. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can we get 69? Is it gonna happen? Okay, Civil War time. Don't do Civil War as Kaiserreich. Yeah, obviously. Still a no. The banks are very, very mad at me, and the revolution is coming. Minus 78, Jesus Christ. And then the game starts in a second. Fake your cheeto finger mouth beater. The problem is that France is gonna attack me at some point, and all this little role playing here could really result in a big, big problem, you know? I'm not gonna take anything here yet, because I'm switching nation. Rip it, banks. Have you thought of reworking your sub badges? Yes, but I'm too lazy and I have no good ideas. But I shall totally redo my sub badges. We're not syndicalists. Okay, civil war. Here is this. Here it is. So we rushed the civil war. And there's a big chance we're gonna get fucked because of the difficulty. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. I actually got the resource slots, which I think I'm gonna get into my next thing to. Uh, I'm getting a new focus tree anyway, don't I? The gold standard or Gehaltskotzung? This removes sifts. No way I'm removing sifts. Stability means nothing to me anyway. Ha! Oh man, this is gonna be hard, isn't it? Oh, the research time is so long. Just give back Eldest Lorraine. You're probably right, actually. We will see later. First, I want to reach the point where the game actually starts, which is the Civil War. It's gonna be no joke. Speed 5? No, I don't want to. Fuck you. Thank you, Pentaboss. Don't forget, every five gifts itself. We're looking at a personal question. A really nice side game here on this channel. After our great conclusion of the Azurian Company, we now have a six sub goal, man, at 4K subs. The goal is I am playing Surf as a Soldier in Game of Thrones Battle Lord in the North. Gonna be fucking epic, dude. France will seize Alistair Rain anyway when you have your Civil War. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Why do you love technocracy so much? But there's a lot of videos about that, okay? Thank you, uh, Gage Rage. And if I answer a question, I'm gonna trigger chat and they're gonna talk about blah, blah, blah. I just think that technocracy is the one true political system that could save this planet right now. That or a green dictatorship or a machine or alien overlords. That's the three options we have to save this planet, I, I believe. So let's discuss that. Slash discuss. I already see the YouTube comments. <laughs> Suffragist movement get a strength. Know your women's women. Oh god, Andrew Tate over here. I'm supporting them, because this doesn't really fuck with my play anymore, and I want to keep the PP. We're not gonna Andrew Tate this shit. Ba -ba -ba. Echo fascist dictatorship, here we come. It will save our planet in the end, right? Um, concentrated, obviously. Civil War any moment. Tommy's a puppet of the lizard overlords. Yeah, and you're not overlord. Look at your phone, bitch. Um, the, 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 the. Greece seizes drum and assets. We're all trying to cope. I'm gonna sanction them. Tenny are asked for increased self governance. I gotta sacrifice. The Tatan Siam. You can turn the EU into a green dictatorship. I think I tried that in Lame Dawn, didn't I? Where, where are you at, Civil War? Where are you at? Where are you at, Civil War? You're taking everything I want for, motherfucker. I'm gonna fight your ass. Dude, look at all the tea I'm drinking. I'm so addicted to this shit. The economy is in complete ruins. <laughs> Vladimir Putin, POV. Opinion on drugs. Um, 
Whites in over China, Lithuanian envoy. I'm gonna keep restricting them. Tell me your opinion on drugs. Drugs are not cool. You shouldn't take them. I think you, if you really love yourself and have a clear mind, you don't need drugs. But I also don't talk shit about drugs. If you occasionally like to smoke weed, I will never judge you. I think lead, weed should be legalized. Um, yeah. Get partial. I don't want to touch anything until I get my new nation to see what actually belongs to me and what belongs to Kaiser Reich. Ethnic conflict in Sri Lanka. Unemployed masses flock to the streets. Okay, they're mad. Here comes the revolution. Here comes the revolution. Here comes the revolution. What drugs have you ever taken? I used I smoked weed. I think I can even say how much speak uh, one. How much weed did I smoke in my life? One, two, three, four. Four four times? Five. Five was passive. I think I could tell you every single time I took weed. At the point is just personally, and I will I don't want to talk shit about it. I, I didn't like it. I, I'm I think the problem is that I'm an arrogant winning type. And when when I'm drunk or high, I don't like it because I I love myself. What do I mean? Listen to this. This is gonna sound super arrogant, but man, Andrew Tate is making a lot of money, so let's be arrogant. I love myself so much that when I look at myself drunk or high, I feel like that's a loser version of myself. Why do I need to be drunk or high? I like my normal version anyway. You know what I mean? Thank you, Seed, though. Whoa, man. Really offensive. There's a guy in chat who smokes weed all the time. He's like, fuck you, Tommy, okay? Fuck you. That's kind of how I feel about this. I, I don't need to be drunk or high to love myself. But I don't want to talk shit about people, man. Yeah, but five times I smoked weed. Dude, I was the first time I was like 15 or 16 and I went to my friend Mike. Mike, he's not, he's a lawyer in Berlin now. And he was fucking always smoking weed and he let me take a hit. And when I think about stories like this, I think that this kid is one day gonna be 15 and if he has the wrong friends, he's gonna smoke weed without me knowing it, man. That was really not okay, dude. <clears throat> Same with bowling. If you need water or alcohol to feel better, maybe you should try to work out. Why feel bad in the first place? Uh, weed, not water. Oh, a sinking ship. Okay, the civil war shall happen any moment now. Uh, the people I know that regularly smoke weed only talk about weed all the time. It's just boring as hell. There's a lot of people I, I look up to that smoke a lot of weed, like Mike Tyson or my favorite rappers or, you know, Joe, <coughs> Joe Rogan. What? No, did he say that? Um. Oh, shit. Can't take this right now. Support Konrad Suse. Let's get uh, Krupp Stahl, because I'm going to play Krupp soon. Here we go, Chad. What is the city in Austria? Holy shit, they're actually taking... i never seen it that they take all of Italy, man. But yeah. The opinion on drugs is... You don't really need them, I feel like. They're, I don't know. Like, drugs play no role in my life well with my dad they do because my dad is a massive alcoholic and will probably die soon from it massive riots so what's coming but for me personally i was never into drugs or anything thank you antonius I, I told the story many many times there's a great story that really showed me that i will never be a drug person um i told the story many times i was in the army and i got a great friend in the army he just texted me when i got my hey, kid my man great guy philip he might be watching he watches all the time above salzburg fucking yeah that actually really exists yeah that really exists i always make a uh, vacation close to this like this area is my favorite area in the world anyway who cares um so i had this friend in the army philip great guy great guy nowadays he has a family house everything great fucking dude man and he was you know i always liked people that took me for who i were i was always this nerdy skinny dude but some people they always took me under the wing and were nice to me and he was one of them and the army was over and one day we were good, good friends he was calling me hey do you want to come to a rave to uh to um to wolfsburg where the fuck is wolfsburg in real life i have no idea man is Wolf where the fuck is wolfsburg i don't even know so he called me to wolfsburg and uh yeah i'm watching <laughs> philip when you grad zuguckst dann mach mal irgendeinen beweis uh, in chat so um yeah where the fuck is wolfsburg I have no idea, eh? Also, Kassel is with a K, not with a C. Um, in near Brunswick? Who cares? Who cares? Can I, like, here? Okay, yeah. So he invited me, right? And me and my friend, a Japanese guy, also a nerdy guy, like, we don't have girls and stuff. Me and him, we meet in... No, that's not true. That's something else. No, without the Japanese, alone. So I drive alone to Wolfsburg. So I'm in this room, and he's, like, a cool guy. He has many friends. It's like a, a big party. Many, many friends. 
good looking women cool dudes surfer dudes and just all these cool people right and then something happened i would have never expected and it was so normal to them and to me it was hey philip bist du das echt laber nicht alter das glaube ich dir nicht du bist nicht der echte philip nein ein beweis sag irgendeine story aus der armee dass du der echte bist philip tell one story from the army that you're the real philip could you have a hitler shrek profile picture i don't know you're him the philip i'm talking about is an adult no way you're the real philip i know he's watching my stream but you're not him i don't believe that tell a real story from me that you know about me dude he's like an adult with kids and shit he has a fucking shrek hitler nine yeah he's not the real philip ah i got you dude i, I, I actually thought for a second you're the real philip man motherfucker that profile picture exposed you man so i arrive and something happens that i've never seen before right i was really not in this world what they did is i can finally use black plate so they're all sitting in a circle and i'm like really happy i'm like man there's so many sexy girls here which was i was just a nerdy incel right so what they do is they take a thing they put it in the middle and all of a sudden it's starting oh and i'm like Okay, but I'm trying to play it cool, right? I'm trying like, yeah, no problem. The landscape, it was, um, it was outside of the city in a barn. And maybe she was just high. Yeah, it's impossible that, fuck you, shut up. So we're having fun and I'm young. I'm like, woo, yeah. And I'm just drinking alcohol, right? I'm getting a bit drunk, like, woo, yeah. And after a while, it was really cool. It was cool. Everybody was really, uh, yeah, the alte war echt geil. Yeah, Philip, Alter. So, and then there was this moment. It's like 4 a.m., 3 a.m., right? And when you're young, this means nothing to you. And I'm like, where's all my friends? Where's all my people, man? Where's everyone? So I'm going out to smoke a cigarette, right? And I'll never forget this moment. There, there was all the cars outside. This was in, like an illegal rave or some shit. And all the friends I made that evening that I really liked, great people, I look into the cars and they're all taking pep. They're all taking cocaine, right? And then I saw them go downhill. They came back in and they weren't the same anymore. They they were like, Sup Tommy. Arr! And I'm like, they were not the same anymore, you know? And, and the girl was not the same anymore. And like, guys, it's just 4 a.m. Why do you gotta do this, man? I, I, I just didn't get it. Why do you have to take cocaine? Re we're young, we can party all night and then go to bed at like 10 a.m. or some shit, man. And I never understood that. And they were really not cool anymore after that. they were just weird and to me I, I, I there was this moment where i'm like dude i thought i'm the fucking nerd and the loser i feel like, i feel like you guys are the losers sorry um thank you mom for educating me well and that that moment was like you will never see me take hot rocks after that 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 was just i, I still probably will not do it but that was just like sad it was just like sad in a way and in my opinion because i'm truly a therapist right in my humble opinion i think people that do that they have something dark in their soul you know i think that girl and stuff they all have some darkness in their soul and drugs alcohol smoking whatever it's always a coping mechanism to get over that some people will never realize it. some people never openly talk about it i believe it's some darkness every consumption of drug in my opinion and maybe i'm just an asshole seeing it wrong but i think every Everyone that takes drugs too often or alcohol or has something dark in their soul. There's something that they want to cope with. Wir waren jung und brauchten das Geld. It's like an escape in a way, yeah. Like an escape. But I was such an alpha chat, I'm like, I need no escape. I'm amazing, you know. I started working out. I became this chat. Yeah. Andrew Tate wouldn't take drugs. When the fuck is the civil war happening? Jesus. I smoke and my lungs are as black as my soul. Yeah, that's not very cool, right? Einheitsfront. Okay, it's happening. Georgia? No. That means they draw my enemy. When is Civil War, man? Where is Civil War? Where is Civil War? Barada, please. The Austrian town of fucking. Yeah, that's very normal. Dornburm. I think that's even funnier than fucking Dornburm. Uh, where's Civil War, bro? We trust Asian war. Chat with 35% body fat. I used to have that much body fat, but visiting your mom every night made me lose a lot of calories, man. The Jekels of Kenya. Thank you, Batrayex. So yeah, don't take drugs, man. The only drug you should take is testosterone. <laughs> Dude, this Civil War is taking forever. 
On the last day of school this year, I saw a 15-year-old girl with blue short hair that got so drunk she couldn't walk for half a meter. The ambulance was called. Since then, I'm distanced from alcohol. I always hear that maybe I always I'm getting old, right? And there's 2K viewers. I I sometimes think I'm a bit of a dad to you guys, and I want to influence you. You know what I learned about alcohol and getting drunk, dude? When you're young, it's you get drunk with the friends. It makes sense. Here's a little tip that I found. Okay, when you go to a party or a home party or whatever the fuck, you know, fake you have it, man. And everybody gets drunk and shit. One thing that I learned is if you control your drunkenness and still stay a bit sane in the brain. It always have positive results. First of all, you're attractive to women, right? You have a party and all the boys are... Ugh, uh, and you're like the one guy who's still like... You, you're sitting in the corner like... Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate. The girl's gonna be like, Hi, who are you? you you're gonna feel much better the next day. You're gonna make more friends. I always felt... And maybe I'm just boring. If you control your alcohol in this abyss a bit and never go full drunk, you always have still control. You get... You learn more friends. Better with the women. You feel better about yourself. You you have an overall better experience and a better night, I feel like, personally. Yeah. Sitting in the corner, whispering, They don't know that I know Andrew Tate. The center cannot hold anymore. Okay, let's do the fucking war, boy. Where that war at? Jesus, come on. Zidane talk. Probably some people push you to drink. At yeah, that's not cool, man. But, you know, you once you're like 16 years old, you should have enough uh, self-confidence to not let others influence you to, to drink, man, you know? Who is the coolest person on, on the world? It's someone that always does his own will, right? It's like, no, I don't want to drink. I'm a giga chat. And like 10 people are like, come on, just drink, you loser. And you're like, no. In that moment, you might, you might feel like you're out of the group. But in the long term, it's a long term investment. Yeah. The coolest person in the world is Kanye West. Who is the coolest person in the world? Probably... Whoa, who is the coolest person in the world? Obama? How is Elon Musk cool? Who the fuck is the coolest? You know, it's it's Vin2694 is amazing stuff. Thank you, Vin. You're the coolest person in the world. Maybe Khabib, yeah. Khabib is a great answer. Arnold Schwarzenegger, great answer. These nuts. You ever think I'm gonna have a civil war, guys? Dude, I had three T's, now I'm only down to one. How quick does that happen, man? Keanu Reeves? Yeah. yeah Willem Dafoe? Thank you, Mudo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Have you, have you guys seen that story? That um, Paris Saint-Germain had a test, a friendly test game in Japan. And did you see the Neymar dive? Did you see that? This Neymar is the most overrated human being ever. Have you seen that video? Where is that from last week? Here. This is a friendly game. Friendly test game. Look at this bitch. Neymar is to me the worst football player of all time. Super overrated. Super useless. Every time you watch him play in important games, he never delivers. He is not the goal getter in important games. He is... He is the biggest joke I've ever seen. And he should never, ever be in the gold question. Never. Never, ever. Let's fucking play the game, guys. It's happening. Mm -hmm. There's a high chance I get wrecked because we're playing on Elite. Okay, okay. He got contacted. Your mom got contacted by me. Tom Cruise is pretty cool. Tom Cruise is pretty cool. Henry Cavill is pretty cool. Yeah. He was good up until PSG. Then Samas the coolest, especially for prostitutes. It happened. The unthinkable has happened. We're facing an open rebellion stirred up by all sorts of lefties and left-aligned nationalists from the Rhine. Several Germanic socialists, national Bolsheviks from the north, socialists and Bolsheviks, and from Afternoon all of the Western German lands, unemployed Germans that sought help with the Faud and other syndicalist units. Now, these unlikely allies have all formed a United Front and Central Command, already having swayed half of our worker class base soldiers and sailors to their cause. We face the biggest war on German soil since the Napoleonic Age, and as if it wasn't enough, the vile Commune of France has seized the opportunity to take Alsace-Lorraine. I take the revolution, right? The German revolutionary government. 
Oh shit, okay, this is gonna get hard. This is gonna be no fucking joke. I'm only at wolf this, yeah, okay. This is gonna be really no joke, man. Okay, let me let me take care of this. Sorry. You know what I'm really waiting for lately? I'm waiting for more Lampires Warhammer, man. I, I, can't, I, I can't wait, man. I'm very, very excited for more Lampires, dude. Fuck all this trash. Let's play. Are we missing guns? No. It's still buck. We're gonna see in a second. We have nothing to see. What is that? Sorry. I have to reorganize the railway system activated. Probably because AI made a decision. So let's get basically everything except artillery one because it's too bad. How many mills? So I would like to play like this, I think. That's my opener. Okay. Flag's actually decent. They're building a deep. What the fuck are you building, Muppet? Okay, open up like this. No, this is gonna be no joke, man. Okay, what bonuses do I did I give them in Elite? I don't remember what bonuses I give them. Keep the keep the shit together. That's the fleet united. How about air? Kampfschulgeschwader! Das Kampfschulgeschwader 1 ist bereit für Sie, mein Herr! Jawohl, wir sind bereit! Und wir kommen, um für das Vaterland zu kämpfen! I'm on fly! Super, super, duper! So, Field Marshal is the great GSFKB, Alter. RAM. This guy has no defense, that's not good. The 4 2 guy, Ernst Thielmann, looks the best. Ernst Thielmann looks the best right now. So let's roleplay a bit. We're finally arrived at the main game. Hauptquartier Essen. Hauptquartier Essen! Offensive, offensive doctrine, jawohl, ja. Fighter 2, I brauche Fighter 2. So, jetzt müssen wir hier einen Kriegsplan veranstalten. Wir müssen schauen, wie genau wir hier die Bemühungen des Krieges verantreiben. Jawohl. Wir schauen uns das einmal an. By the way, no joke, all the Germans in chat that speak German to me in Discord messages or on stream, this is how you listen, how you sound to me. You sound like big Muppet Germans. Tommy, es tut mir leid, dass ich dich hier kurz stören muss, aber ich würde sehr gern fragen, wie es dir heute geht. Wie geht's dem Klein? Ich wünsche dir alles Gute und vielleicht können wir eines Tages mal Dungeons and Dragons zusammen spielen. Tommy K, a großer Fan, großer Fan. That's how you Germans sound to me, I swear to God, not even kidding. Wilhelm Peak, good defender. I, I want to make the defender decisions with Carl and Pete. Peak. So Wilhelm Peak. Angetreten. Erste Armee. Peak. You see, now I'm gonna start role playing. I think it's always important to me to role play like this because that right. makes me feel the game more. I would like to take um, good defenders. And there's a high chance we're gonna get wrecked here, by the way, right? right Very so high chance. Right. Zweite Armee. Artelt. Look at that sailor, man. He looks like a Chad. This is gonna be no fucking joke, dude. Uh, the air is gonna stay with red. Okay, interesting. Speed four. I still have the same research, but the focus three changed completely? Oh, wow, cool. That's so cool, wow. The will of the church, what the fuck? CDU. DLP, PDS, SPD. World Rebel, that's so fucking sick, man. A whole new focus three, man. I gotta get victory first. Where's the technocrats? Corporate dictatorship. Dude, the Illuminati? <laughs> the first mega core. Oh, that makes me wet. If you know Tommy K, you know that this right here makes me wet. German mega core, dude. I, I need mega core uh, soundtrack, man. Mechanicus Ost. Man, I'm so into Warmer for the K lately, man. Fuck. Let's get some mega core Kruppstahl stuff. Okay. I gotta, sure. Let's even go speed free. I want to take this massively serious. Let me get a little knowledge about uh, the supply issues. So if I cut him off here, his self is completely gone. And then I could focus on the north. Again, they have mad bonuses right, against so me, so right. careful. He's already moving out. Sure. Let's not be stupid, guys. Let's take care. Thank you, Honig Schnitter. Easy, guys. Right, zum Ausrücken. Okay, I'm gonna really take my time. I wanna... We're playing on the hardest difficulty in the... What the fuck? In the game? Shit, man. That's... Jeez, dude. He's uh, actually... It's not good. I need real fighter. That's not good. They spawn inside of me, dude. France and Britain supporting me because I'm, for them, a communist. Oh, that's a lot of Germans, man. Let's take open land. Cutting off his south will be a great first goal. I don't know what the fuck this bullshit is down here. I gotta fix that. That's gonna be no joke, huh? Let me try to cut him off here a bit. You get the fuck over here with a train, please. I need you guys. He spawned six dudes here, which is very bad for me. 
Yeah, cutting them off is on the number one goal right now, obviously. It's already going this way. Again, we're playing on the highest difficulty, so he's gonna have insane bonuses. It's gonna be pretty harsh. How is this? How many guns? I would like to make new divisions probably, but with 700 guns, that's not enough. Change supply to motorized. Do I have enough motorized for that though? I have 10 motorized, man, so no. That's a no from me, man. No rose for you today. Don't really fight him, he's too strong. I tried to not really fight him, actually. He's over here, wow. I'm, this is gonna be no joke, man. Save the game? If I die, I die, man. If I die, I die. Oh, this is gonna be not easy, dude. Uh, attack from not the river. If I can surround the south quickly, we have a great chance. This is fucking annoying, man. What the hell is the six divisions, man? Just getting more help. Maybe I can even unite the front line here. I might just take it back. Give Krupp a division named after that and make them elite while making your other units peasants. Are you okay, man? Should we call someone? Nuremberg is his only connection. If Holding Nuremberg is everything. It is literally everything. Okay, stop. If it doesn't work, then don't be stupid. If it doesn't work, then don't be stupid. Oh, this is gonna be no joke, man. Angetreten. Okay, that's the supply hub. Just hold that. Hold that supply hub. Hold that supply hub. Hold that supply hub no matter what. If I hold this supply hub, man, we are Gucci Bucci, man. But the north is a scary, scary thing here. Guy attack first. This could be the cutoff. When he attacks, we go in. This could be the cutoff. And now it should be green. Oh man, fuck. Ooh, what? How do you not return, bro? Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit, okay. Stay calm. Stay calm. Didn't see that. Sucks a bit. Slowly take this down. Slowly, though. Very, very slowly. You guys hold this. I need these guys to help, man. Ah, man. This looks very takeable right now. Cleaning the south could be the victory here. Can I see the bonus I got from Elite? Where would you see that? Is there even a bonus? Okay, make sure the south gets killed. That's the only way we have a chance here. Easy, no stress, no stress. Make sure you hold this, Tommy. I'm on it. Should be an easy hold. Good, 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 good. good. North looks even good now. He's immune to attrition anyway. Oh, yeah, so he's never. Yeah, on this difficulty, they have never attrition. Oh, that's not good. Okay, French and British arrived. Only three divisions, but hey, everything counts. Oh, this is very important. Uh, they still have... Are you telling me because of high difficulty they will they are not considered in circle? Like, Munich is enough for them? Oh, that's hard. That's hard, man. Resident Sleeper Elite Difficulty? Yes, Elite Difficulty is trash, but I'm just, you know, trying to have good content for you guys. And a lot of normies are like, Man, he's playing high difficulty well, man. You guys love that shit. Right. But uh, that is going to be very, 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 very hard. I would like to switch the airplanes to this. Ooh, that can never fall, man. That is a big no-no. And let's work on this. Slowly work on it. Slowly work on it, man. I know it's local supply, but because of difficulty, he also has minus 50% need of supply. So the local supply of Munich is allowed to help all this army. In a vanilla game, this would be considered struggle and would probably attrition. That was red, you idiot. You're attacking with red, man. <sighs> the 
helping me with this pocket. That's good. Dude, that pocket is strong, man. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Good, good. Progress. Oh, that's gonna be so hard, man. Okay, there it is. We're killing that, and then these guys can help. Oh, scheiße, scheiße, scheiße. We're gonna play hardcore. We're gonna play hardcore. We're playing this shit hardcore, man. There's no way I can lose this. I'm actually having him pinned. I even have him pinned. Even if he takes it, we're fine. <sighs> it's gonna be fun campaign, dude. Can't even take this. Jeez. Stop this useless attack. Do your LS have bonuses, though? I, I will guess they have. I will guess they have, yeah. Supply shipments. Don't even care what they are, I just need them. Five divisions here to stop the encirclement. Thank you, Sodan. How are you doing? How are you doing? My only confirmed ever female viewer. Always happy to see you, man. Uh, girl. <laughs> What's up, girl? Thank you. Congratulations. Tommy, did she take this to diagnosis? I am. I straight up am. Bro, this is a great move here. Taking down the south like this could really be something. This looks very good right now. But late game, man, fighting the communists is going to be such a pain in the ass. What is this, by the way? German Civil War Participants. Okay, really bad. Thank you. As Donto Twitch. As Donto. How am I? Yeah, baby is hard, man. Dude, straight up, having a baby, and we have a chill baby, right? Compared to others, is hard. You always feel... You know what's super annoying about a baby? What I... Well, you know what I hate the most? It's you're always concerned. You're always scared. Today, the baby had its first bruise. He has a, he has a little blue dot here. Which I think 99.9% .9 happened from me touching him a bit too hard or something. It happens. Kids have bruises. Now, you take you take Google and you Google uh, a bruise baby. You know what the first thing is? A lot of bruises could be a sign of leukemia. Your kid has cancer and you're like, oh. And then Lisa's family has a lot of leukemia in their history. And you're like, oh my god. And me and Lisa were like, does he have cancer? And you fucking, it's so fucking annoying. You know, it's like Murphy's Law, right? 99% of the time, everything is totally fine, but you always feel like, okay, he's dying. It's over. He's fucking dead. He's fucking dead. And I, it annoys the shit out, out of me, man. You know, everything you Google is, well, sudden infant death just happens sometimes. It happens. Like, what the fuck do you mean it happens? Fucking children just dying like this? Fuck off. And yeah, that annoys the living hell out of me that you have to be concerned about this. And it scares me that for the rest of my life, I will have that. My mom said it beautifully. The thing with kids is, you will always be scared for them till the day you die. And that makes me a bit like, fuck. Like right now, he's a baby. He, he could choke. When he's fucking 10, he could be run over. When he's 15, he could drive with his drunk friends and they fucking die in a car crash. When he's 30, he could become drug addicted or fucking listen to Andrew Tate too much, you know? And you just feel like, man, eh. I just want to sleep, man, and give a fuck about my own shit. But that's the life we chose. That's the life we chose. It is what it is. It's called sits and... Uh, you think I don't know about sits? You don't think I researched that shit in the last three weeks? Like, I'm a fucking expert on sits, okay? You know, you can't tell me shit, man. I know everything, man. I know everything. I'm the king of Google, man. You know what the worst thing ever... Uh, you know what's the worst thing that ever happened to doctors? Google, man. You know, back in the day, doctor, you're a doctor, I trust you. Nowadays, you go to a doctor, uh, I googled this, you're doing this wrong, okay? This Filipino website and these women in this form say differently. Fucking shit ass Google, man. We actually took the south, dude. Independent, I did my independent research. <laughs> oh, my name. Let's finish this. You can really feel the difficulty just by the fact that the enemy has less attrition. It's not really that they have better stats or anything, it's just they have really good attritional stats. Like this is gonna be hard in the north. Careful of fuel too. Bereit zum Ausrücken. Na dann rück doch raus, du Spast. Was los mit dir, man? Mach jetzt los, ja. Your right Facebook has way better info. 
Dude, it's the funniest thing. It's the funniest thing. Let's Google. Let's Google something like. Is my kit? Oh, I, I need to do it in German. Mine. Uh, Kopfumfang Kind zu groß. So what happens is you Google something. This is German for is my kid's head too big. Now what happens is you go to these fucking forums and in these forums is the dumbest women ever man they have the weirdest fucking way to speak man it's it's all these forums of these weird 10 iq women where let me show you another one like like this one no this is no 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 i'm looking for the forum no, 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 no. um fucking i don't know uh uh blauer fleck kind eure erfahrungen this means your your kid has a bruise. And then you go to these forums. Can you fuck off? And there's these women. Bapsi. Bapsi1974. And they're so weird. They speak like these people that you see in the fucking low IQ TV shows, man. They're so awkward, man. It's still it's so weird. Like, look. It's hey, and you you should never read this stuff. Never. These people are so fucking dumb, man. It's like these 80 IQ people that are like. Well, my little boobity, Kevin Jeremy Pascal, he was still shitting himself when he was 15, but that's very normal. He's my little angel. He's my little angel. Here's a picture of us at McDonald's. Ha! Fucking idiots. Man, I, I, I became pretty fucking arrogant, right? Because I fucking can. I subscribe to entertain. I can be arrogant. Keep insulting 80 IQ people, you will lose 9% of your viewers. You guys love getting shit on. It's like your kink shit. You guys are like the girl in 50 Shades of Grey. You love this shit. Don't fucking act like it. Okay, the self is taken. Very, very nice. But still, it's... The problem in this difficulty is you never have anything encircled. Because they never attrition, as you can see. Because of high difficulty, enemy never ever attritions. That is the massive problem, man. What happened to Battlelord? We concluded the campaign yesterday. Check the bot. You never really encircle anything in this. That's the problem. So you boys, get your fucking ass up here. Let's go. Let's plan a big offensive here. Let's go speed four. This is gonna be no joke, man. I killed one division of this. Good. Should be the end here for him. Let's get them all up. Hmm. <clears throat> Alles nur Opfer von Internet vorhin, Bruder. How many hours do you have in for? Too many. Will you play Lawn Mowing Simulator? Ah, uh, later, man. I hate it when high difficulty just makes enemy higher stats. Yeah, I agree with you, man. Alright, zum Ausrücken. How's Fabian 2 today? Oh, not good. He's just going to Um, let's do Field Marshal Frontline. And now comes Phase 2, man. Phase 1, very successful here. Let's get them all in position first. Gonna take a sec. Look for openings. We did some mad damage here to Germany, but it's still gonna be no joke. Mr. Murray is... What the fuck? This guy looks like the oldest... He's probably even younger than Joe Biden, though. William H. Murray. Alpha for Bill. The first Alpha. The first Alpha. My name is Alpha for Bill. Mechanical computing. Good shit, good shit. Excavation one. He's a racist KKK guy. Oh, the, oh, the French breaking through. We should probably help that. Good job, French, with their tanks. Show losses, please? No. 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 I don't want you. I don't want to show losses on you anymore because I want to teach you that losses don't matter at all in this game. I want to teach you that. But in roleplay with medals today. I will do roleplay today, but with your mom and not with medals. Booyah! Okay? Do you see any fucking mercenaries here? There's no mercenaries. I'm not gonna fucking do medals, man, you weirdo. He's the leader of what is basically the second confederacy during the two ACV and Kaiser Redux. Comprende, compadre. Comprende. William Peake wounded. From what? From what? Did his feelings get hurt? Kami? Unbelievable. Let's have a little assault here, man. Let's have a little assault going on. Yeah, there's the green bubbles. Fucking hell, let's go. Too many units on your front line. How many is it? I would just check that. What is that number here? 14? Angetreten. 
Ihre Befehle. Mal schauen. Let's finish the Silver Woman. I didn't think I could win this, but okay, good. Good to the Silver Woman. Now, make him walk, walk. How's Tommy Jr. doing? Oh, man. The question comes every five minutes. I should have like a chat uh, command. Angeteilt. How is the kid doing? Angeteilt. We're actually breaking through on all fronts. Very, very nice. The Civil Aus War is going my way. Very, 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 very nice. What do I have to do after this? You take the commies. You take the victory focus. In the Congress, elect the SPD and wait for Liebknecht to retire. Yo, fuck, man, we did it! We did it! That was easier than I thought. I mean, I'm a legend at this game, obviously, and there was a bunch of friends helping me. Thank you, Pepsi friend. Holy shit, yeah, man! What up? What up, bro? Nice! That went well. Okay, got the mills back. I feel like, I feel like in hot single-player games, cast one and fighter ones are not even that bad. You know, in multiplayer, I think you should never do that, but in this type of scenario, man, they're actually really good. Uh, we even got a trade, probably. Okay. Do I still have Black Monday? Oh, I have... Uh, I should lose this massive Civil War uh, debuff if I take the victory thing, right? German Civil War's over in any second now? Still need the airplanes for the though? Cancel then, please. I'm waiting for the event for the Civil War to be over. The Daily Unthinkable has occurred. The German have forces fighting in Europe have finally collapsed on the weight of the invading armies. The Reich couldn't continue the struggle and so the Pierce the Kaiser, his cabinet, a considerable number of state officials and key generals have embarked to the African colonies. For the first time, I am ashamed to be German. Fuck you, Kaiser. You did nothing for Germany. And the victory... <sighs> Dude, I I'm so... Five years I have a career now, right? And me saying... Fuck the Kaiser, he was he did nothing for Germany. I already know that triggers 20 YouTube comments, man. In two months, when this video is on YouTube, just have a little hobby. You know, your, your phone is like ding ding ding, check his video. You go to the video, you go to YouTube comments, but you don't go to the one with 500 likes. You go to the small ones with the weird anime profile picture, guys, and the black and white generals, and they're like, actually, Tommy, actually, the Kaiser, actually, actually. I know you guys so in and out. Victory, man. We have defeated the Imperial forces, and now the sole government in Germany is ours. And then I'm gonna be very strong, I think. Oh shit! Here we go. Early mode makes a lot of sense because fighting the commies is gonna be so hard, man. This game is gonna be because you cannot with elite difficulty. You're not allowed to encircle, so it's all about tanks and cas, right? Tanks and cas. Okay, did I lose the thing? Oh, I get a totally ruined economy. Ooh, oof, that hurts. Ouch. So now I get Congress events and I need to elect the SPD. What does this say, I wonder? Krupp and the VDE have established a corporate dictatorship. Okay. I need to start taking these bad boys. Victory proclaimed. Before we do that, I'm just gonna go with... I gotta think a bit more meta, because this is gonna be much harder. Is plus one attack actually so good here? Probably is. I'm doing bold attack. Victory proclaimed. The revolutionary central command has proclaimed total victory over the imperial forces and called for a quick restoration in, of order in Germany. Uh, we lost Aldous Lorraine though. Oh, it says that. Having already signed the treaty of France to give up all claims on Aldous Lorraine in exchange for membership of the international. I lose the Corn Luxembourg and Aldous Lorraine. Meanwhile, what rivalries and ideological incompatibilities are boiling up again? But also, newly forged alliances have emerged inside the revolution. The ideological leaders of the revolution have already started to organize their new political parties for an upcoming first German Congress. I'm in the international. I probably can leave them later, though. Fuck that. I'm not gonna suck French dick. I ain't fucking sucking ya dick. Okay, I gotta wait for the first conference. I can't take a single focus, right? Just confirming that. Yeah. NVA, Nationale Volksarmee. I just had a talk about the NVA two days ago with uh, older German people. And they all said the NVA made so many alcoholics. Wait, what? How? What? How? How, How in the world is that possible? How is that humanly possible? In a these said deadly dramatic turn of events republican regime in the union of britain has fallen how 
It's a mechanic. It's a balance mechanic, you think? It's possible. It's a random event. If the commies fuck up too hard. The commies just took Germany. The British Isles have been changed. Beyond the wreck. Dude, the king is back. He looks fucking like a Chad. I've never seen that. There's no communist England, which is great for me. That means one one with France. It's so that the communists aren't too power. I don't know if I could trust you guys. You say it's planned. If there's a civil war in Germany, they take back the UK to have a balanced game. That's what you guys are saying. I, I kind of trust you on that. But you never know if you can trust Eric Charles Hayes. Who the fuck are you? Who are you? Who is Eric? What? Liberal victory in Brazil. What the fuck? Join the Phalanx Terre International. Fuck that shit. Elect mostly and fucked up everything. My question is if this is a planned thing to balance the game or if it's just totally random and I still don't really know. It can happen randomly even if Germany doesn't have a civil war. What happened to Italy? Let me check in a sec. Just, I gotta be very careful what I research. I have a minus 30% debuff. We gotta be very clever here, man. Mm, let's just get the first guns out of the way. Yeah, at least becoming Austrian, my dude. Who the fuck is that guy? It can happen randomly, but there's a higher chance if Germany or Russia goes commie. What's the difference between Kaiserreich and Kaiser Redux? Kaiser Redux is very meme and crazy. Imagine you play Kaiserreich and you take LSD. Then you get Kaiser Redux. When will you play Scotland and Kaiserreich? I've been thinking of putting Korea and Scotland, the newly updated nations of Kaiserreich, into a poll so you guys can vote for it. I've been thinking about that, yeah. Okay, I need the, the the Congress, man. What's up? I need me some Congress, dude. The SPD holds strong. I need them to win. Karl Liebknecht. In my city where I live, I'm going to live closer to soon. There is the Karl Liebknecht Street, which is the biggest street in Leipzig. That's where all the young, cool people chill and stuff. I'm going to live closer to that soon. It's actually kind of cool, man. It's very beautiful. Uh, lots of restaurants and shit, a lot of hipsters. Who only was one of the leaders of the First Socialist Uprising in 1918, has called for the SPD to once again follow his guidance on his way for a better Germany, man. Thomas K. Watch Party. Dude, today... Oh, should I say this? I should not. I should... I'm gonna shut my mouth, no. I was thinking of watching something with you guys, but then I said, no, don't do it. And I'm not gonna tell you what it is. No, I'm just gonna not. Just not doing it. Nope. Warm 40k music reminds me. Did you see the Dog Tide gameplay? I uh, it got delayed. Dog Tide got delayed. It's okay. It's okay that Dog Tide got delayed, man. As long as it's a good game, let them delay a million times. The gaming community, you and me, we should never be mad about delays. Let these developers make good games, man. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, you fuckers. Konamit Snisogaya? Ish. Bist du aus Leipzig oder was? Ich wohne bald. Ich wohne bald in. Keine Ahnung, wie das heißt. Lindenauer Markt. Also ein bisschen mehr so, da wo die ganzen Hipster wohnen, ne? Ja, was willst du machen? When is that Congress happening? Is it the Boys Hero Gasm? That would be DMCA. They delayed Cyberpunk several times, but. They should have delayed it more. But two years after release, Cyberpunk is still a piece of shit, so I don't think if anyone could have helped there. Meine Arbeit ist am Lindenauer Markt? Hä, äh, was genau? Erzähl mal! Ich wohne da jetzt bald an dem Markt. Da, wo immer die Bänke sind, da, da sind immer die Sufkis und so. Ich wohne dann hinter dem Kaufland. Was machst denn du da? Erzähl doch mal. There's a guy in chat who lives where I'm gonna live soon. I, I... What do you work as? Do you sell kebab? Could I make... Could I bond with you to get cheaper kebab? I have this thing. I wanna... Pause the game. I have this thing. I wanna talk about for one second. I generally have this thing and I think it's... It's A, me being East German, and B, um, uh, um, watching too many Mafia movies. Vermessungstechniker als Ausbildung. Okay. Na, dann sehen wir uns bald, mein Junge. I have this thing. When I move somewhere, let's say randomly, Tommy K moves to whatever. Fucking whatever. I move to fucking Burgos, okay? I have this thing that I have this urge to connect with my local vendors. When I move somewhere, what I do is, in the morning, I go to the local baker, I go to the keep up guy, I go to the supermarket, and what I try to do is, I try to bond with them. I try them to like me. Hi, how are you doing? Here's some tip money. And I try to build this network of bakeries, doctors, grocery markets, keep up sellers, pizza guys, and I try to connect with them. 
and I, I actually really connected really well here where I live. I have great connections, man, with the bakery, the 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 physiotherapist, man, uh, the fucking uh, the grocery store. They all know me and stuff. And I hate that I'm moving now because I have to rebuild all my connections with strangers, man. Champions of the masses, the F A U D, the biggest worker union in Germany, and often marginalized by the imperial government for being the undisputed champion of the worker class has called for a reorganization of political party i think the game is showing me what parties we can choose in a second they're introducing them i think businessman dude i never connect with businesses like big sponsors people that actually matter that have money and could actually work with me i never connect with them i always connect with the lower classes you're the normal workers man and i think that's just east german culture dude and it's this it's this mafia thing right as a young boy you always imagine being in the mafia because we all have this we all have this this fantasy right like you go somewhere like a bakery you go in how you doing how you doing and there's a line there's five people but the baker's like hey mr k you can come first and everybody's like hey hey why hey shut up mr k is a long customer okay mr k what can i do for you come on we all have that fantasy right being this mafia guy who walks around the city everybody respects him you never wait in line anymore we all have that fantasy right if you don't you're probably just a girl and um yeah i always want to fulfill you don't have that fantasy you have not enough testosterone then man you gotta watch my andrew tate i totally have that man in my local area i want to be a mafia guy that everybody knows and respects i that's a big fantasy of mine he's a 40k short video why would i do that right now most of my fantasies involve you naked in my bed. I know it does. It's called being a politician. Are you insane? Dude, let me tell you something. If a politician would walk around Leipzig, man, you would be fucking from poop at. Where do you live that people respect politicians, dude? That doesn't happen anymore. Politicians have to be scared not to get shot nowadays, dude. At least that's in Germany. Um, and especially in East Germany, dude. Okay, I'm waiting for the Congress. Uh, I usually have that with the pizza I don't know what I order when I order it uh, yeah there's a local uh, burger place burger me you maybe know it on stream they know me in and out man they know who I am and they, they they even give me like these coupons now because I order so much tonight I'm making quesadillas for Lisa I got a nice chicken uh, you guys want to know about my quesadillas that I'm doing tonight so I got a nice chicken high quality and I'm cutting it in stripes pam 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 okay then, I want to show you what I'm doing tonight for Lisa. Let me make this black dough because it hurts my eyes. Then, I take the chicken strips. Th this is chicken strips, right? And I season them with Tex-Mex. You know, this Mexican style. I have this Tex-Mex mix. It's like Mexican f uh, stuff. So you put the Tex-Mex, salt, pepper. Uh, you marinate it. You massage it. Put it in the frying pan. Tss, you roast the, the, the chicken strips. Then, you have the uh, fried chicken strips. You then take a bowl. You take a bowl. And you put in uh, le leek, leek. You cut leek. Nee, leek vegetable. You guys just want to see it for, right? Not leek. Nee, 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 nee. That's not true. Frühlingszwiebel. Frühlingszwiebel. What is that called? What is this in English? You cut frühlingszwiebel. You put the rings in. Ring, ring, ring. You put the uh, the, the seasoned chicken in that's already fried. Spring onion. Spring onion. Then you add um, uh, cr uh, creme fraiche. You add this creme fraiche, creme fraiche, creme fraiche in here. Uh, some seasoning, salt, pepper, maybe paprika, and cheese, grated cheese. You then have a mass, right? You have a mass. You then take one tortilla. You put the mass in the middle, and you put another tortilla on top, and then put it in the frying pan, and then you have a tummy cake quesadilla. Man. I should make a video about that soon, man. That is my quesadilla is so sick, man. The big issue of quesadillas is, uh, that makes a difference between uh, a meta quesadilla maker and a new quesadilla maker is that sometimes the mix you put inside a quesadilla, you can choose your own type of cheese. I choose gouda, uh, gouda is, or cheddar. Cheddar is very good. Um, the problem with the meta of quesadillas is, is that when you put them in the frying pan, sometimes if you fuck up and have the wrong mixture, that your mixture is getting too liquid. It's coming out of size. It's too watery. Very, very... It can't be too watery. Yeah. The leaders of the authoritarian syndicalist Ernst Thalmann and the Bolsheviks, Wilhelm Pieck, have agreed that the ideologies belief have enough on blah blah blah. So they're kind of introducing the syndicalist Marxist party. Right now we're getting all the communists introduced and I have to choose one of them. We're choosing the SPD because they will lead to technocracy. How do you fix something being too watery? Great question! Where I'm still trying to find myself. 
that's a great question. How do you stop something from being too watery? You have to bind it more. There's a thing called Soßenbinder. I don't know how to say in English. There's this thing. Soßenbinder. Speisestärke. This makes liquid things less liquidy. How's that called? MSG? Or some flour. You could use some flour. A little bit of flour, not too much though. But this is great here. Red crumbs? Not red crumbs, no. This is a thing that makes sauces thick. One flour, okay. English is so weird. One starch. That's 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 a way to do it. Something crazy that I sometimes do, which is a bit childish maybe, but if I have a product that's too let me get an example of something too liquidy. What's a good example? I don't have an example right now. Let's say you fry meat and you want to put it into the quesadilla thing. But the meat is very watery, a lot of fat. What I do is I take um zip, zip, zip. I take oh alter zip. I'm learning a lot of English. Zip of English. A scythe. You take a scythe. You take a scythe, and it's a bit weird, and pros don't do it, but you put if anything's too watery, you put it in there, you do a bit of ch and you already lost a lot of water. Very good tip for cooking. A strainer. I can go partial right on time. And any moment I shall be able to finally go into the focus stream. <clears throat> what do you think of the UFC event last night? I've seen uh, Brent Moreno and I've seen the woman fight. Uh, the woman fight was good. Interesting fight. Brent Moreno with the leg kick to the liver. Sick win over Kara K. France. Uh, the one thing I generally don't get from the bottom of my heart is how the, how the fuck is he the interim champion? Uh, Brandao is the f that other guy. I, I forgot his name. The black sheep. He's the fucking champion. Why is there why is there an interim champion? It's so fucking stupid, man. I think that's so dumb. Brent Moreno is great, but he's he shouldn't have a belt there. It's fucking ridiculous. Take a ghetto lane. Like you know, I want to explain something today. I, I have high energy. You see that? I, I drank coffee today. You know, in the UFC, there's a thing. There's rank one, rank two, rank three, rank four. These are fighters, and there's a champion, right? You maybe have seen this before. A champion has a belt. A champion has a belt. Okay? That's the UFC. Now, sometimes the UFC, and I think that's very scammy, and I love the UFC. I'm a big fan, massive fan, but I think this is ridiculous. They do a thing called interim champion. Let's say the champion had surgery and he's gone for three months. What the UFC is doing now is that rank one and rank two are fighting for an interim belt. The winner of this fight is getting a belt. Even though everyone knows, including them, that the real champion has the real belt. And he's coming back. And the only reason um, they do that is for marketing. And, yeah, he has a belt. And it's, it's fake champions. Tony Ferguson. Uh, 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 fucking, what's his name? The Trump guy. Colby Covington. You're not the real champion. You're an interim champion. You're not real. You know, it's ridiculous, man. Uh, most inside the revolution consider nationalism beyond patriotism to be sickness. Um, only most though, not all of them. No, there is one man who managed to unify most of the nationalist groups during the Civil War already behind this banner. His man is Paul Lynch. Having developed his own ideology called Germanic Socialism, which is very... That's interesting. Which is very far from what most will call socialist. Instead calling for a partially nationalized social corporate economy to end class struggle and by national corporation. But he's also a man that could only be compared to the ghost of Bismarck. He's like a Bismarck guy. I mean, we're choosing the technocrats anyway. We're doing that. Uh, would make sense when the holder of that belt then could challenge the champion. That That is the case. That happens. But I still think you're you're not a real champ. You're not real, man. You know? What do you think of Charles vs. Islam? I'm going to watch that. The UFC has gone a, a little bit more boring lately, right? With Khabib and Conor being gone and stuff. It's still good, but Israel, uh, sorry, um, Islam versus Oliveira is a pretty fucking sick fight, man. I cannot wait to see that wrestling jujitsu fight, man. It's gonna be sick. I think I, I, I kind of hope uh, Oliveira wins that, man. He's such a good guy. I like this guy. Will you watch the Euro finals? The women's one? No, no, I don't watch women's football. <sighs> what are your thoughts on Aman Salrukian? Uh, he was great in that last Bollywood movie. All is prepared. Okay, we're gonna go to the conference, man. We're going to the first socialist conference. I can... Oh, uh, here we go. The first Congress of Germany. 
Today, the National People's Union of Germany, the Big Tent Coalition of syndicalists and left-leaning groups and unions that led the revolution has collapsed. With all its fractious fra fa fra factions, sorry, pulling it in radically different directions at the same time, it was only a wonder that it survived as long as it has. To prevent the nation from falling into anarchy, the government has called the first Congress of the German Union to hash out the factions' differences and see who will lead Germany. We have to go with SPD to get the Mega Corp of Krupp. Okay, now probably there will be an event and I need to take... Let me check once again. Indeed, the game balance itself... Oh, it's confirmed. It's actually not random. If Germany has a civil war, the commies lose the UK. Confirmed by Rapu. Thank you, man. Um, do the victory focus in the Congress elect the SPD and wait for Karl Liebknecht to retire after doing his last focus? Now do the democratic promise focus and elect the market liberal DLP. Once you finish the DLP, you can become the Krupp Megacorp. Jesus. <coughs> SPD for Megacorp sounds way too real. Jeez, that was deep. Damn, that was deep, dude. SPD for Megacorp sounds way too real. Jeez. SPD. Karl Liebknecht. Karl. I know nothing about this guy. This guy is very famous in Germany. Many streets are named after him. I don't know who he is. You know? Fuck it. Interactive stream. Who was Karl Liebknecht? I have no idea. That's a German. It's all German. Okay. Who was Karl Liebknecht? Nicht Straße, man. Uh, can we get an English wiki? Jesus Christ, he doesn't have an English wiki, man. Come on. Here we go. Uh, was a prominent German socialist and anti-militarist. A member of the SPD in 1900. He was one of its deputies in the Reichstag, where he represented the left revolutionary ring of the party. In 1916, he was expelled from the SPD for his opposition of the political truce between all parties in the Reichstag while the war lasted. He twice spent time in prison, first for writing an anti-militarist pamphlet in 1907, and then for his role in the 1960 anti-war administration. He was... I can get that young people nowadays will idolize him. Makes sense. He died very early, man. During the November Revolution that broke out across Germany in the final days of the war, Liebknecht proclaimed Germany as a free socialist republic from the Berlin Palace on November 9, 1980. Could he be considered a bit of a traitor? A little bit? Uh, on November 11, together with Walter Luxembourg and others, he founded the... I have to be careful because Antifa Leipzig is going to fucking kill me if I say shit here. In December, his call to make Germany a Soviet republic was rejected. Yeah, fuck you, man. I'm starting to dislike this guy. At the end of 1918, Liebknecht was one of the founders of the Communist Party of Germany. Shortly after the suppression of this party's uprising, blah, 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 blah. How did he die? Sorry, how did he die? Where's the die? Where's the death? I don't see the death. Am I dumb? Already on my way, Tommy. He was murdered. The intelligence service of numerous blah, 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 December 1918, numerous red lodge formed posters to red blah. Can we just get to the gist of it, man? They were killed in the Spartakist uprising. Okay. Okay. Cool. Got it. I understand them now. Cool. Okay, SPD won. SPD victory. Now, I need to fin... Wait. Einigkeit und Recht und Freiheit. Do his last focus and wait for him to retire. I don't get that too much. To his last focus, do they mean this year? What does it mean? We leave the international. What do they mean? They shown orc concepts from Astro Creation. Cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, should I do his focus tree? Uh, I don't want to do anything wrong. The guy in Discord says finish his focus tree and then he retires. He's texting right now. Okay, one sec. After he retires, he have elections. Where does he retire, though? Um, you need to found the dot. Okay, I need to do this. Okay. Einigkeit und Recht und Freiheit für das deutsche Vaterland. The first two principles of our new nation will be founded on unity, the unification of the German people, under the red banner of syndicalism and justice. 
the equalization of a long-held discriminatory justice system. Now, not only could the average citizen see his work affect the prosperity of his community and nation, but now he knows that any wrongs against him will be solved through the justice system. Mm -hmm. 10 PP, 10 stability. Let's build country. I built this country, brother. Thought this mod had the in-game tutorials for paths. Uh, yeah, but this is a bit more complex, yeah. The best opera singer? I listen to a lot of opera lately, man. Uh, dude, today I have big energy on the stream, right? Lisa's family are massive opera fans. Her, her grandpa was in the opera. Her, her dad is a massive opera fan. They are like big opera fans. What's Andrew Tate for you is opera for Lisa's family. So they, they kind of um, showed me some opera, man. And you know, sometimes, not, like yesterday, I was driving my car and I listened to this. Um, Core Negrate by... Um, there's this legendary um, en Enrico Caruso, the first ever high-level tenor or soprano. And I don't think this is DMC8. Yeah. I listen to this shit in private, man. This is how fucking rich people I am becoming. I love this shit. I always play this for the kid to make him quiet, man. I love this shit, dude. This is culture, man. My cousin is a big opera singer in Milano? Opera is nice, but when we go to the opera, man, there's so many seats open, man. Nobody watches this shit. They all watch Fast and Furious, but nobody watches this. Time for some education. Enrico Caruso, one of the best opera singers ever, guys. He's singing about the ungrateful heart of his lover, Catalin. Catalin. Yeah, anyway, I listen to opera lately because I probably have a midlife crisis or something. I Is Lisa's family of rich background? No, Lisa's family isn't rich, but they're educated, I would say. Thank you, Bismarck. Lisa's family, they're educated people. <clears throat> Mendelssohn, I listened to like Jonas Kaufmann lately a bit. If anyone, I don't think you. <laughs> Jonas Kaufmann. Vincero! I have a kid, I probably shouldn't do this. Okay. Do you listen to classical music? Not really. Dude, sometimes, man, you know, when the kid doesn't sleep and he's a bit, uh, I do this stuff. Um, I mean, this is a bit weird. When the kid doesn't sleep, I play this stuff. I play stuff like this for him, you know. But to be honest, Shed straight up, it doesn't have any influence. He doesn't give two fucks. I could play metal Metallica or classical music. He doesn't give a fuck, man. He's still gonna keep crying or not. It really doesn't matter, man. Turning him into a villain. <laughs> All I want life is that this kid grows up to beat Dankus in Hot Friend 5. That's like the only thing that matters now. He will be the one breaking the heavy tanks, dude. I'm telling you. I am telling you. We have a lot of shit divisions I should probably delete. Want to also design some stuff soon. Because we're still playing on a very high difficulty here. This is not a roleplay game, it's not a fun game. This is... If you just tuned in, we're playing on the highest difficulty the game has. And it's going to be very hard. Play your kid Mozart and just shown studies to help. Not true anymore. Um, I was literally talking to a pediatrician in the hospital two, three, uh, day, uh, three weeks ago, and he said that that whole classical music thing has now been debunked by a new study. That's at least what he said to me. What still is not debunked is, though, that a kid remembers stuff it listened to in the womb. So if you play Metallica in the womb, he will still calm down to Metallica, apparently, uh, later. Show your playlist. What playlist? I have no playlist, man. What fucking playlist? I don't have Spotify or anything. I just have my YouTube playlist, man. <gasps> what the fuck is Tommy watching? Um, Tommy's playlist. This is videos I like. Let's take a quick look. Oh, shit. Oh, what? I didn't... What? I didn't like that. What? That's so awkward. I swear I didn't like that. That's so awkward. I swear on everything. I did not like that. Holy shit, man. That is... I swear I didn't. I'm still gonna watch it. I'm not ashamed of it, but I swear I didn't watch that. MF Doom, Books of War, man. I listen to that a lot. Lots of synthwave, lots of rap. Lo-fi rap, 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 rap. Truman Shopping. Yeah, it's just pretty much rap. Conor McGregor and Khabib being friends. Uh, this one is nice. I, I, was, I was liking this. I like Peter Schiff. This is a great video. I like this video a lot, man. This guy is a rich guy. 
And he goes to Occupy Wall Street in 2018, and he's trying to talk to these people, and he destroys them, man. A beautiful fucking... I love this video a lot, man. Great video, man. He just goes there, and he destroys them, dude. Um, Project Zomboid Trader. UFC Esports denying transitions. Uh, lots of Warhammer 40k. It's just music and gaming stuff. I miss old Tommy. Fucking hell. Squid Game Challenge. I, I don't remember liking this. This is one of the greatest... Man, these videos are so sick. When an Irish man goes to London. What the fuck is Tommy watching, huh? Lots of music, music, music. Thank you for 10k subs. Say among ape goes wild. What the fuck is... Ultimate guide to opinions for beginners? We... That is totally Marconi. I never liked... What? What? I've never liked that before. Um, first stream of the year, I'm gonna promise you, this is gonna be the year where we attack... This is the year of the takeover. Gosh, Michael, wow, look, look. We're in the home of the enemy, Kathleen. Michael, we a thousand years. Just Kathleen, enjoy your holiday, Michael. Michael, there's no need. There's no need for any of this. Michael, what? Come on, people, I can't tell. 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 Come on, people, I can't How is that real, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> How is that real? Oh, it's so cute. That's so amazing, dude. Chat, when they ask what for? What is oh, that? Wow. I, I swear to God, Chat, and this is this is Marconi liking this. What what is all, what are you watching, Makoni? This is 100 percent Makoni. I didn't. That is I don't know really what really is. long. Do I actually need to know all of this? And the answer to that question is yes. What is you this? You must have a general understanding of everything we're we're gonna discuss today. What is this? If you want to have any hope of having a modicum of success trading options, this stuff is foundational. Option trading. What the fuck, Makoni? Absolutely critical for you to have any success. And it might seem like a lot the of things, Greeks, but as we go through it, yeah, me and Marconi share an account. That pretty things much. are clicking, things what are starting to make fuck? more sense. And as you go back and study each sec, okay, man, what the hell? Yeah, this is my favorite video, uh, my favorite song. I hope this is DMC8, man. My um, when my kid was born, I was driving home and I was listening to this song. I found this song when my kid was born. This song is so sick, man. But listen to this beat, man. This is this is old school, man. Listen to this beat, man. This is not your little uh, hello, 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 rap. This is fucking rap, man. MF Doom, man. Rip. That guy was a fucking legend, dude. <laughs> Lisa just texted me that the kid finally fell asleep, but I almost woke him up because I laughed about these monkeys. <laughs> listen to this, man. Listen, listen. I probably can uh, listen to this, but my god, it's. I love that song, dude. That kid will forever be connected. That song will be forever be connected to my kid, man. Okay, we have Einigkeit Recht und Freiheit, and we have Socialist Democracy. PP, population, infinite stability, construction speed goes up again. We're fixing that country, man. We'll, be, we'll become a beacon of socialist values and democracy. What's your favorite MF Do song or album? I, I want to be that honest. I'm not that deep into him. I don't know his albums and stuff. Um... I think that song where the kid rapes his own mom is very famous, right? Right? That sounds weird, right? But it's a very well-known song. What is that song called? Ultra famous song, right? You don't know that song? It's a, one of the most famous rap songs of all times. Dance with the Devil, yeah. That's Immortal Technique. Oh, shit. That's Immortal Technique. Well, then I don't know. I, I just got into MF Doom. I don't know him that much. I'm not gonna act like I know him well. Oh, Immortal Technique did that song. Oh. Um... My fat told me about it, but I don't know the name. Oh, shit, dude, it's so hard to play with a minus 40% uh, research bonus, man. Whew, I gotta really think. If I wanna win on this difficulty, we can't be dumb. This is... Hmm. I feel like going for this rush here, because the bonus is gonna make me keep up with the others more. Once again, if you just tuned in, man, we're playing on the highest difficulty. And don't forget, five gifted subs. We're gonna ask personal questions to me, myself, and the chat. Yes, these Hoi 4 streams get a lot of viewers, man, but I got much more subs on the Battle stream yesterday. What the fuck, guys?
Huh? Do you like to watch how full and not pay for it? Pokemon would know, man. Thank you, Gemini Heart. Someone is fucking doing it for three years. Thank you, dude. What is that song called you listen to? Uh, Book of War 2. Book of War 2 or something. Thank you very much for the free Gemini, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. American Union stat. We have the American Civil War. Not paying Alpha Chad. Dude, when Andrew Tate does a pyramid scheme with Muppets, he's cool, right? I shall make a pyramid scheme with subs. Every time you tell another guy should sub to me and he does it, you will get a feed picture of me in Discord. Thank you, Living Glute and Goat. Thank you, Goat. I think Goat understands. Does he have a fucking pelt, man? I think Goat understands that Twitch Prime is not a crime and for free. Yeah. So, I gotta do some boring stuff before I become a technocracy, but I still gotta play very serious because when I get a tech man, it's gonna be not easy. I think the play should be to have very shit basic anti-air infantry, massive air, and sick tanks. I think that's the way to beat the highest difficulty, man. Thank you, Grandfather Finn. We need an Andrew Tate emote. I have a question. I have something for you guys. If you want to help the channel, if you want to support the streamer, I'm looking for an emote. I'm looking for an emote. Um, I need an emote. Maybe you guys could help me out and have an idea. Thank you, Knotcher. Uh, Putis, I told you. Yeah, I need a lore emote. Every time I create lore in roleplay games, such as Bannerlord, and I'm like, we just created lore. I would like to have an emote where people spam, we just created lore or lore has been created or something. I'm looking for a lore emote where we guys can be like, ha ah, he just created lore again. Whoa, epic. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite American nation to play in the Civil War? I actually never really played the Civil War so much. I played New England, which was mad fun, but I think I'm going to uh, look at that soon as content. Just use this one. My face is lore or seat if you like. They were kind of the same. Uh, Marconi told me that the CSA could have great content. We might look into that soon. I need guide. Hi, Tommy. I'm from YouTube. I've been watching for actual years now, and this is the first time I've come to a stream. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. YouTube Lab. How you doing? CSA is El Capone. Could be fun. Yeah, we could play El Capone, man. Could play El Capone, bro. Funny that you say that, because yesterday I listened to an original voice piece of El Capone, and he sounds like a fucking movie character. I listened to this yesterday. I don't know why, don't ask. He sounds like a literal character. I came to Chicago with $40 in my pocket. Close your eyes and imagine you're watching a Batman movie, right? My son is now 12. Literally the I'm fucking uh, Kingpin, or the Penguin, right? Daily. We had to make a living. I was younger than I am now and thought I needed more. I didn't believe in prohibiting people. I got so many re recommendations about this. There's this YouTube channel called Insider, and they always do former Navy SEAL rates Navy SEAL movies or some shit, man. Fortnite Daycare 2. What the fuck? The Spartakiade. Opening ceremony was held in Paris. And oh, it's the Olympic Games just for communists. Oh, okay. Is it like who can dye their hair the best? Hmm. Soprano role plays Al Capone. Look up this morning. Dude, we could play the Sopranos. I shall do that soon. We shall play the Sopranos, man. I'm actually quite excited for GTA 6 because I'm going to generally start looking into roleplay content there and become a GTA roleplay channel. Because that's where all the big money is, right? Right? Socialist democracy. I'm also going to play RimWorld soon. I'm gonna, I want to start um, really doing my sub goals and not scam you guys. So we're going to probably next week have a RimWorld stream. Um, women's suffrage. Minus 5 consumer goods. Yeah. But here, this overall helps the economy a bit more. Taking this early. Social market economy. To continue the capitalistic economy under the Kaiser will be abetting an oppression. However, we acknowledge that those who worked hard under the previous system deserve to keep what they cloth and brush with greedy hands. To take that away from them will wipe away blah 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 blah. Tabby K meeting other streams would be very hot. I think, uh, yeah, we talked about this before. I think I'd be kind of good in GTA roleplay. I just sometimes feel like the train is gone already. Thank you, guy called Ty. The Unisay can even get Jesus. Outcome of the Spartak Yard. We've got a few medals in the event, but not enough for our team to be the winner. It's okay to lose though, right? Tony Sirico died. Tony Sirico died on 8th uh, of July, the day my son was born. Tony Sirico died when my son was born. That's that's forever connected, dude. 
And now half of chat's like, who the fuck is Tony Sarico, man? Who the fuck's Tony Sarico? Satanic black magic! Fuck this shit. Polly Walnuts will be your son. Hey. No, he does like me. Hey. Don't get me. I can't do Polly Walnuts, man. That's what that got us over. But Polly Walnuts might be one of the best characters of all times. Like, legit, right? Fucking Poison Ivy! Ah! <laughs> what other lines does he have? Dude, I feel so high energy today. I'm just fucking jumping around. Polly Walnuts' best lines. Probably, but I'm not even kidding, one of the best written characters of all times, man. Oh, the legendary scene where he makes the fucking sauce and he's like, uh, your shoelaces are wet. This is probably the best fucking character. Italian people. How do we miss out on this? What? <laughs> fucking espresso, cappuccino. Buffalo what's that on? this shit. And all these other cocksuckers are getting rich on. Yeah, isn't it amazing? <laughs> and it's not just the money. <laughs> the thing about this guy is, if you don't know Sopranos, he's just playing himself. He's like this in real life, man. It's a pride thing. He's not playing all a character, food. dude. Pizza, calzone, buffalo mozzarella, olive oil. These fucks had nothing. I could watch this all day, dude. Gave him the gift Free money, Jesus. Holy crap. But this, this is the worst. GTA Roleplay became extremely shit. clicky. In like in a clique. Thank you, Jason Bolts. I love that cock sucker like a brother. <laughs> and he fucked me in the ass. <laughs> what I should do? That, he's talking about big pussy, right? Pussy, <laughs> oh, man. This is the best TV show ever, man. The world don't run on love. Shut your mouth, the listen. world don't run on love, man. I'm going to give you a couple extra days. But it's going to cost you another two Gs as a reminder oh, not man. to fuck it up. I really envy people, Chet, that have never seen The Sopranos, man. Because you still have the greatest TV show of all time. Don't give me man. Like God, man. He fucking bag. died, dude. He fucking died. You gotta give that shit a rest. Man needs a seven hours. Keep Man needs a seven shot. hours. The miracle of Christmas. Like, the one thing I generally... You can't argue is that writing lines, like character lines, the Sopranos is unbeatable. It's unbeatable. The lines Make are... The blind will see and the lame will walk. The, the, the lines of the Sopranos are untouchable. The way the characters talk and... Uh, it's, it's so unique, man. So unique, dude. Untouchable. Man, so many people just want to see how it for, and Tommy's just jumping around. You gotta watch Sopranos, dude. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Only if, like, Mafia shit? Bullshit, man. Sopranos is the greatest TV show of all times. One million percent. And there's no way to argue. The guy killed 16 Czechoslovakians. He was an interior decorator. Well, his apartment looked like shit. For my Sopranos boys out there... Let's focus on the game again. You guys probably... Don't know what the fuck. He killed 16 men. The guy was interior decorator. He says he killed 16 Czechoslova uh, uh, Czechoslovakians. Yeah, that's what he says. Maybe the best line of all times. Yeah. Let's do excavation. This, this game is going to get very serious soon, man. And his house looked like shit. The Pine Barrens, man. The Pine Barrens. What are the top five TV shows, Tommy? Let's go. Hey, today I'm jumping around. I don't give a shit. Uh, today I feel really... I slept really good, to be honest. Top five TV shows ever, personally. Um, so, I think about this a lot, because I'm a TV show nerd, right? I think about this a lot. So, this one here is the best. I think that very shortly, Sopranos is rank one. When everything comes together, Sopranos is just genius. Once in a hundred years. Fucking insane, man. Sopranos is just untouchable. But I think that very close to that, very, very close, is Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is a complete masterpiece. You know, you can't just talk shit about Breaking Bad. The acting, the writing, the... Unbelievable. Breaking Bad is just... You just can't talk shit. You cannot talk shit, man. Um, a lot of people that I care about, like big actors, I listen to their podcasts. And a lot of them say that the best TV show they've ever seen is The Honeymooners. The problem is we guys are too young for that. I've never seen The Honeymooners. It's like from the 50s or something. But a lot of big actors say that The Honeymoon is the best thing ever. Um, it's hard, but... I think for me, rank free a little bit above these two. And unfortunately, in my opinion, often... Not being talked about, and it makes me very, very sad that people don't recognize a lot, is, is Mr. Robot. It makes me very sad people don't talk enough about Mr. Robot. Every time you talk about TV shows, you talk about all your shit, the Band of Brothers, it's Better Call Saul, but Mr. Robot Man is 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 pure art. Pure art, man. 
My fucking god is Mr. Robot amazing, dude. I am still this day fucking impressed how insane Mr. Robot is, man. What an unbelievable TV show. Uh, I think three seasons, right? Just, um, man. I, I, I can't wait to rewatch Mr. Robot one day, man. Unbelievable. And then it gets hard. Then it gets hard. Mr. Robot is mid, you just don't understand, man. Mr. Robot is fucking insane. Have you seen Black Sails? Black Sails is the most childish dumb shit ever, man. Come on. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to put in comedy stuff like The Office or something. I don't want to do that here. We're talking about like drama and not comedy. Um, Sherlock's so bad. Sherlock's is so bad, dude. Sherlock's is, dude. I think Sherlock is one of the worst TV shows ever, and only normies like it. In Sherlock, the conclusion to a case is always so random and so pulled up out of the ass, and it's so dumb, dude. It's so dumb. Fuck Sherlock, man. What a shit show, man. Ah, uh, this is a personal one, though. This is personal, so I'm going with... Fleabag? Calm down, Lisa. Calm down, woman, okay? And don't you fucking dare say Vikings, man. Vikings is not that good, okay? With, I'm suddenly a Buddhist and shit. Fucking trash. I just have to do it right here. I'm putting Game of Thrones up until Season 7. Without Season 8. Up until Season 7. Sorry, man, but Game of Thrones was insane. I was such a fan. I couldn't wait for... I was getting all the knowledge. I was reading all the books. I loved Game of Thrones, man. Game of Thrones was such a fucking event. If you guys remember, man, it was big, man. Game of Thrones was big, man. Season 6? I, I still like the 7. Game of Thrones was fucking amazing, dude. It felt so good. And number 5, man? <sighs> Let's exclude uh, anime, because I would like to put Cowboy Bebop here. But we're not doing anime. Let's really go with just normal. Otherwise, I will put Cowboy Bebop here. And I think, yes, guys, like, lower here, I see Dark and The Boys. The problem is The Boys isn't done yet. The Boys could still fuck up. I think the final episode of Season 3 was fucking a disgrace. Uh, Dark is insane, man. Dark is just... Oh, I don't know. What a good show, man. Uh, and I think that's my personal list, man. Not including um, anime and comedy. If I would have to include comedy, I think that somewhere here is The Office. The Office uh, America is just... Whoa, I don't, that's the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life, dude. The Office US is just insane, man. And right here, I will put like Cowboy Bebop and, and Samurai Champloo, I think. That's my personal little list here, man. There's great shows like, yeah, Peaky Blinders and stuff. I just personally think that stuff like Peaky Blinders just is a bit short of these things. It's a bit short because sometimes I think that you guys don't put everything into perspective. You guys sometimes don't do that, man. Uh, yeah, Peaky Blinders is just one character shitting on everyone, right? It's not that deep. And um, what, what I think sometimes you guys don't see yet because you're still a bit young. Oh my god, I'm like a boomer, right? Because I was like that. Look, let's say right here we have an 11 out of 10 TV show or movie. You guys have to understand something. It's not just the casting, aka actors. Casting. Right? It's not just the setting, like a fantasy world. What you guys have to really also consider when you talk about the best TV show ever is... Is, is fucking uh, production, right? Editing and, and besides production... It's very important. Maybe the most important thing. Writing. Writing. Right? You cannot walk around acting like fucking Walking Dead is a good show. Because there's zero writing in The Walking Dead. Zero, man. All of this has to be 10. Uh, what else is there? Fucking costumes. Costumes. Um, very important part is consistency. Consistency. Right? You have to be consistent in, in your own lore. Which a lot of TV shows don't do, man. You know? Like, why the fuck is Alfie Solomon still not dead, you know? Uh, uh, music. Yeah, music. Am I fucking taught it? What the fuck am I doing? Music, man. Um, uh, b character build-up. Character building. Character building, blah, blah, blah. And I just believe when you really look at all these, then Mr. Robot, Breaking Bad, and Sopranos is just a bit of heavy everyone else. Maybe Better Call Saul could be considered, but... When you talk about Peaky Blinders, like Peaky Blinders is not completely 10 out of 10 in everything. I just think that these three to four 
shows are just this little ahead of everyone else. Just a little bit ahead of everyone else. Does it age well? Yeah, dude, people will watch Sopranos in 20 years, man. I had never seen the UK office, no. I think a great... Dude, what, what is that Ricky Gervais show he did? Um, where his wife died. That's really good on Netflix. Very, very good. Support startups. Oh, man. Let's support some startups to get some sifts. That sounds good. Afterlife. That's a very good show, man. Afterlife is fucking sick, dude. Sopranos is one of the best character relationships. The thing with Sopranos is that overall the writing is just good. If you really look at the Sopranos, and I'm an expert on the Sopranos, man. I listen to every podcast about it. The thing with Sopranos is that every scene, everything a character says, every little thing that's in the background is fought through. Every little scene, every word in Sopranos, there has been no ad libs in Sopranos. They, they always have the script. It's completely thought through and makes sense. Everything makes complete sense, man. Like, it's so crazy. Like, the, the, I, I was watching this podcast about Sopranos, and there's always mayonnaise. Look, they're all Italians. They're the mafia, right? They're Italians. And all the time, and I've never realized this. The thing with Sopranos... Oh, here we go. Here we go. The thing with the Sopranos is you can watch Sopranos five times. You will still see new things. That's insane. And I just realized these these uh, the, the story of the Sopranos is that these Italian mobsters in New Jersey, they act like they're Italian, but they're fake Italians. They always act like we're Italians, but they're after all, they're just assholes. And they always have a bottle of mayonnaise on their table uh, and a Coca-Cola, which is in the end a uh, homage to that these guys, it has all meaning, man, that these guys are fake Italians. They're not real Italians. They're just making, they're just always acting like it. I think I should do free trade because I my debuff from the high difficulty is so insane. Black Mirror is pretty fucking sick too, yeah. But it's more like single episodes, right? Top five movies. Oh shit, you guys want to do this today? You guys want to do this? I'm doing this out of my brain. So this is personal. This is personal. This is personal, okay? Personal list. Best movies ever. First of all, the... Um, the how do you say it in English? The Messlatte. The, the end game has to be Lord of the Rings trilogy. You, you can't... You, you can't... You can't talk about this. There's no arguments here. The Lord of the Rings trilogy is cinema at its finest. It's the greatest cinema of all times. Untouchable, you can't argue. Can't argue. Can't, can't, can't argue, man. To me, this is closely followed by my personal favorite movie ever, Fight Club. Fight Club is, is a strike of genius. Uh, I don't know if it aged well. I was watching it with Lisa last year and she was like, this is just for toxic men and stuff. And I don't know if she was right. It kind of touched me a bit. It was like, come on, woman, don't fucking destroy Fight Club, man. But Fight Club is, mashallah. It's a personal one, personal, personal. Best movies ever. I think I want to add on rank three. At the point I'm adding this is because I think this movie that I'm gonna name now has the most impact on the human race, and that's Schindler's List. Schindler's List should be a movie that everyone has to watch in school. Schindler's List is, I think from the weight, the most important movie of all times. I think it's the most important movie of all times. Then we obviously have the Fast and the Furious 8. Just fucking kidding, man. That's never gonna happen. We obviously have Transformers. I'm just kidding. We obviously have the Multiverse of Doctors. Fuck that. Dude, I was watching the Multiverse of Doctor Whatever. It was so bad, dude. How do people still watch Marvel, man? Fucking hell, that shit is so bad, dude. Like fucking Benedict Cumberbatch. It's just the staff of Magnunu. I have the stone of the ancient wizard of Banga Banga. <laughs> Fuck these movies, man. Um, Elta, what is... I want to add one other movie that I've been simping for for many years. Um, you guys will really be like, what the fuck? The point is that I think this movie is the best Sunday popcorn movie. This movie I'm going to name now is is so mind-blowing. I love this movie to death. Uh, the point is I was, I was younger, like many years ago, and I was looking for a movie to watch at night. And I just clicked on this movie and I was so impressed. And that is Edge of Tomorrow with Tom Cruise. Edge of Tomorrow is, is so fucking good. It, it is just pure popcorn entertainment, man. It is so fucking uh, entertaining. I, I love that movie, man. It's so good. So, so good. If you haven't watched After Tomorrow, watch it tonight, man. You're just gonna love it. You know, it's not that deep. You don't have to fucking question your life after that, but what a movie, man. Love it. Wow. And number five is very easy for me. A movie that has influenced me a lot in my adult life. A movie... You guys notice I talk about this all the time. A movie that is... And I want to say this, this is important to me. 
when I say the movie, you're gonna not understand what I mean. But right now, I think this is one of the scariest movies ever. I think the movie is a horror movie, and it's so scary. And that is The Big Short. The Big Short is so amazing. It's a very adult movie. I think when you're like 16, you maybe can't appreciate this movie. I don't know. But The Big Short is so scary. The Big Short is a movie with very big stars that tells you about the 2008 market crash. And what the movie does is it explains to you in detail how the entire system we live in is fucked. And you are the victim and you get fucked. The movie literally tells you with proof that we're all fucked. The world is completely done, man. And that is very scary. I think that's my top five. Personally. Personally. End of Brothers isn't a movie, you complete muppet. There's great movies like Green Mile and stuff, but they don't... You know, all these movies had impact on my life, man. They did something to me. And stuff like the Green Mile... Well, pff, Dunkirk. I, I turned Dunkirk off, man. Dunkirk made me fucking fall asleep. But these... Like the Godfather. You know what? I'm gonna say it. The Godfather is overrated. I never liked the Godfather. The Godfather is super boring to me. Oh, shit. Here we go. 1970, also super boring. Fuck 1970, man. The drumming guy is fucking shooting the guy. It doesn't fucking hit. Fucking bullshit, man. Oh, shit. I'm making a lot of enemies here. Pacific Rim is amazing. Pacific Rim is great, man. And I think another movie I will def edit close to rank six is, six is, once again, because it had big impact on me, is 300. 300 seems like such a meme movie nowadays, but 300 was so big as a kid. I was this skinny bitch boy who got bullied, and then I saw these Spartans that take no bullshit, and they're like, fuck you, man. I'm a Spartan, and I was like, bro, I gotta stop working out. 300 had so much impact on my generation, dude. Oh, man, the researchers are so long, huh? Hmm. I'm gonna need to get into an entire bit. Let's rush the artillery. I have a minus 30% research debuff because of leap difficulty, and that really hurts, man. It's gonna be no easy. Meet the Spartans was better. 300 is the worst movie ever. I think 300 is amazing, dude. 300 makes you a man. 300 is about a man that does everything to protect what he loves. That's the story of 300, right? Spanish Civil War. I've never seen The Dictator. Another movie that comes into my mind with best movies ever is uh, an Italian movie with Benito whatever the fuck. And he is in a concentration camp with a little kid. That movie was fucking insane. What is that movie? That's an insane movie, man. Uh, uh, li something with life. La Vita e Bella. The Life is Good or something. It's called Life is Good or some shit. La Vita e Bella is... Das Leben ist schön on German. That's a fucking sick movie, man. That's a crazy movie. Wow. So there's this comedian in Italy, like in real life. His name is uh, Roberto Benigini. Roberto Benigini. And he made, he was always like a funny guy, comedian, and nobody, like he's a comedian guy. One day, he releases a movie which won him an Oscar. He was a foreigner that won, a, it's, it doesn't happen often that foreign movies win Oscars. And the movie was, um, so he's this Italian guy in North Italy, and the Nazis take over Italy. And the whole movie feels like a comedy. He makes always jokes, everything is funny. And all of a sudden stuff happens in his city. Like the Nazis are coming, people are missing, all the Jews are gone. It's kind of weird, right? And one day they take him and his son, I think, or his kid or something. I don't remember. And everything is like a little bit like a comedy. Haha, -ha, we're going to a concentration camp and he tries to make jokes. And you know why he tries to make jokes? He wants to make the little kid, the little Jewish kid, to, to not feel threatened. So he's always joking, right? And the Germans are coming and people are dying. And he's always like, ah, the Germans are nice, blah, 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 blah. And the ending is so sad. And yeah, it's it, it feels like a comedy movie. But in the end, you realize, holy shit, this is about the Holocaust, man. And that was fucking hell, man. That was a massive movie, man. That won a lot of Oscars. Pretty fucking sick, dude. Jurassic Park 1 was huge for cinema. Dude, you remember being a kid, man? And watching Jurassic Park, man, that shit was scary, dude. That was very scary. Yeah, he pretends that the concentration tape is a game, so his son doesn't uh, get scared of something. Fucking crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy movie, man. And then he needs to always hide the kid from the Nazis, because children were not allowed to be with adults or something. Yeah, they're playing a game of points or some shit, yeah. And if you win, you get a tank. And in the end, he gets the... Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil. Top 5 Christmas movies? Die Hard, Die Hard, Die Hard, Die Hard, Die Hard. Now, man, top top 10, top 5 Christmas movies? Oh, these are really into that. 
Top 10 Christmas movies. Let's go. Today is a weird... We're playing for the side, but I don't have fun. Top 5 Christmas movies. Rank 1, Die Hard. Easy, man. Die Hard, rank 1 Christmas movies. Um, number 2, very easy. That's what I mean. Lisa, do the Harry Potter, the Harry Potter movies. Uh, you, may, you might say they're not really Christmas, but dude... You know, Christmas is over and you're free. You don't have to go to work. Your parents are gone. Dude, watching all the Harry Potter movies is amazing. Especially the one with the Goblet of Fire with the Christmas stuff. Uh, very, very good. Then, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Easy, easy. Nightmare Before Christmas. Amazing movie. Nightmare Before Christmas by Tim Burton. Amazing movie. Um, I don't really watch Lord of the Rings during Christmas. I think this year, me and Lisa said we're going to watch it. Home Alone 1. Home Alone 1. Yes, Home Alone. Actually, both of them. Home Alone 1 and 2, true. And number 5. Lisa's favorite movie is Meet the Griswolds or something. I didn't... I don't... I don't know. Gremlins is good, yeah. Alien? The Green Book? How's the Green Book? I'm talking about Christmas movies. Juman Jamaica Bob Team. What movie do I watch at Christmas? Shrek The Awakening. You guys watch Shrek? The Grinch? Love Actually, very good answer. Love Actually, yes. Yes, beautiful answer. That's for all the normies that have girlfriends. Love Actually, massive Christmas movie. True. Yeah, true. Very good answer. But yeah, I, I like Harry Potter a lot at Christmas. But I think this year we're going to watch uh, Game of uh, Lord of Rings. Yeah. Yeah. Meeting Sarah Marshall. Eastern Promises. Polar Express. Snowpiercer. I don't know any of this shit. A Serbian film is a great Christmas movie. Check that out on Christmas. Uh, yeah, anyway, so let's focus on the game. We're doing our focuses. We're trying to become technocratic. Ah. Gotta be careful there. Don't want to get banned. The confei has risen up. Um. Calm down, guys. I don't want to do top 5 anime. That's. Dude, when you do anime, chat goes too crazy. When you do anime, man, you just go mad. You just go insane. Let's do top five anime. Uh, top five religions. Top five anime. But again, just just personal, okay? This is my personal thing, okay? I don't want to like discuss what's best. The thing is, to me, personally, most impact is pro. Oh, that's hard. The thing is, I always say this on stream, man, and I'm not afraid to say this. I'm not afraid. Why, why the fuck am I doing a graph? I'm not afraid to say this, man. I think that anime had a massive influence on my life and made me a better human being. Um, that's why I want to give rank 1 to Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, and Bleach. I think I owe that to them because, and I want to explain this, Naruto Uzumaki, Son Goku, and Ichigo, Kurosaki Ichigo, they taught me something about life. You know, in these, uh, not in Dragon Ball, but like, especially in the ruler, right? The main character is a loser, has no friends, right? And I, I feel connected to that. And then he he's like, fuck this shit, I'm gonna work so hard and become something. And that's why for me they're rank one, because they they were great role models for me. Straight up, I wanna be honest, they were great, also a bit Luffy, right? Uh, they have been great role models for me, right? Don't give up and make your dreams come true, right? I, 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 I hope my kid will watch anime with, one, with me one day and I can show him this stuff, man. Yeah, Son Goku gives great light lessons. He doesn't treat his family very well. He never visits his wife and shit. Um, gotta do that. Then, number two, just for impact, is Samurai Champloo. The thing is, the thing with Samurai Champloo is... Uh, and you guys should watch that. It's, it's a great anime, very quick to watch. The thing with Samurai Champloo is that I fully think Samurai Champloo isn't that good. It's the story and stuff. It's not that epic. The thing is, though, that the soundtrack changed my life forever. Uh, because the soundtrack showed me for the first time ever lo-fi hip-hop and especially uh, New Jabez. And that changed my life, man. I was, I remember I was like 18 when I watched this and that me I was like this young kid that really was full of rage and New Jabez and Force of Nature and Fat John and Substantial, the people that made this soundtrack, they changed my life forever, man. Uh, unbelievable music, which the same for Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop was very adult and it showed me jazz. Uh, Cowboy Bebop soundtrack is one of the best soundtracks ever. It, it, it showed me what jazz is and saxophones and stuff and uh, and the characters are so sick, man. It's a story about lost people that these guys are not heroes, man. They're lost characters and they can't find solution to their issues, man. 
and that's what I really liked. Number four, obviously, Attack on Titan. The thing with Attack on Titan is, it's, it's, in my opinion, Attack on Titan is the first anime ever that can keep up with Hollywood. Attack on Titan is just so fucking good quality, right? It's legit like a Hollywood TV show, man. It can It's on the same level as Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones, in my opinion. It's, it's so good, man. So good. And number five, I feel like putting Pokemon here because Pokemon has so much impact. But for me personally, wow. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, I actually don't know, man. I, I feel like I haven't seen that much, to be honest. I feel like putting Pokemon here because the impact of it, you know? Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. <sighs> I I will I what wow, it's hard. I don't know man. Death Note, you're right, Death Note, yeah. Death Note, because once again, Death Note was on Hollywood level. Like Death Note is so high level. Death Note is one of these animes that shows this is not just some shitty Japanese cartoon. This is some real shit. Death Note was pretty good. So that's my personal... My personal top five, yeah. I think so. Death Note is mid. Death Note has been mind-blowing back then, man. Okay, let's do... Uh, do dude, once a month we do this like this. Because you guys love when streamers do that. Final thing, and then Hoi 4, I'm sorry. Top 5 video games. Personally, personally, top 5 games. Personal, personally, personally. Uh, to me, personally, I, I genuinely believe you can't argue rank 1. I genuinely believe everyone should say that is The Frozen Throne. The Frozen Throne is the best video game of all times. It has insane lore. It had an esports scene. What the fuck am I doing? Throne. Jesus. It literally made MOBAs. It made Need of Legends Dota. It made Among Us. It had so many submods. You could literally play the Frozen Throne for 20 years and still not be bored. I believe that the Frozen Throne is the undisputable rank one. Untouchable. Not even debatable. I think that is even on paper the best game ever. Uh, un untouchable. Untouchable. Number two has to be, you have to show respect, Pokemon Blue, Red and Yellow. The pro you guys are maybe a bit young and you don't understand this, but Pokemon Blue, Red, and Yellow has been so mind-blowing. Never in my life have I seen a more mind-blowing game other than World of Warcraft Vanilla. When this game came out in 1999, I think, it was it blew our minds. You have to understand, we kids, we didn't have phones and GTA 5 and Minecraft, man. When this came out, with 151 Pokemon and free roaming, you could literally do what you wanted. On a handheld device, it was insane. I have it right here. I have it literally right here. It's behind my whiskey. <laughs> Look. Pokemon Blue, bro. Pokemon Blue in the original Game Boy Color, man. And imagine this in the year 2000 as a 10-year-old. It blew your mind. It will completely make you insane. Fucking insane. Uh, number three, I'm sorry. I have to do it. World of Warcraft Vanilla. World of Warcraft Vanilla has been... Uh, and just uh, even the stats show it. World of Warcraft Vanilla. Uh, an unbelievable experience, man. Uh, un, un, unbelievable, man. What, wow, I, I wish I could go back in time one day. Dude, if I die one day and God says I'm allowed to go back in time, I will go back to the release of World of Warcraft Vanilla, man. Number four, you gotta show the respect. GTA San Andreas, in my opinion, the best GTA ever for its time. You have to always look at a game for its time. And GTA San Andreas, uh, 2003, I think, or something, uh, has just blown my generation's mind. An unbelievable game that just was... Wow, wow, man, what a game. It, I, it shits on Vice City because it had so much more freedom. Dude, free cities and you had so much freedom in that game. The music, just unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. And then personally, oof. you guys might hate if I do this. I mean, let me just think for a second if this is correct. Oh, I forgot. So, ah, I have to put it there. Look, the point is I wanted to put. Sorry, I have a blackout. What do I want to put here? I forgot what to put here. I had a blackout. Uh, Skyrim. I wanted to put Skyrim here, but it's beaten for me by Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X didn't age well, and it's maybe not per for you the best game ever, but the point is that Final Fantasy X represents a time of my life there. Um, I remember this so well, man. I, I, I was a kid that... 
you know when other kids were already out of friends i still had to go with my parents to the garden on the weekend every weekend my parents they would have a garden you know you know east german thing they would have a garden and i would always have to come with them right i i was never allowed to stay alone alone at home and i hated that and then it happened that my parents started to leave me at home alone for the weekend they always gave me 20 euros for Saturday and Sunday, and I, I loved it, man. I loved it. So my parents would leave. I would go to the supermarket. I would get frozen pizza, Coca-Cola, and I would go to my dad's TV, which I was never allowed to use, and I would just play Final Fantasy X. And I would be so immersed, and it was a, a great, um, great experience. So uh, I feel like Skyrim is just behind it because Skyrim is pretty mind-blowing, man. And and that is my top five, man. And I genuinely believe, man, that you can't even argue rank one. Frozen Throne is the best game of all times, man. I played the Final Fantasy X Remastered, and I want to play it on stream one day. Did, I didn't even play the top three games in your list. Yeah, because this is kind of old, right? This is old people stuff. All of this is... Dude, all five of them is old people stuff. If you're like 15, you probably never played these games. Yeah, this is very... Damn, I'm old. I'm old, man. I didn't like Red Dead Redemption 2. Look, I fully respect Red Dead Redemption 2, okay? I know you guys love it. Red Dead Redemption 2 is great. But I personally didn't like that you don't have your own character. I didn't like that. I didn't feel immersed into the story because it, it wasn't me. But it's a great game. I don't want to talk shit, man. It's great. Women's suffrage. Let's go. I'm getting some mills. Well, air is going to be so important, man. Let's go. Do I need... I need my first rubber from Deutsch Ostasien. So, what's up, man? Come on, can I do one? What's up? There you go. Okay. Top 5 Parox games? <laughs> There's like one good game. How close is Pokemon Fire Red to Blue? I don't know what that is. But Sodom is back in Russia. I even personally believe that Pokemon Gold and Silver is better than Pokemon Blue and Red because they were also mind blowing with their color and stuff. Sodom's back. I probably have to fight him. Fighting Russia on Elite difficulty is the worst thing you could ever do, man. Top 5 German tanks. Top 5 viewers. Who is my favorite viewer? Boy, that's hard and not fair, right? That's hard and not fair. You know, the thing is... Thank you, Freddy. I fucking like Bjorn. And the point is, I don't like Bjorn because he gives subs. Bjorn is really invested in this community, man. Like, Bjorn is an adult. He's not an idiot. He never was, like, an idiot to me. And he generally, like, gives a fuck. Bjorn is right now the co-developer of the 101 mod. He is always there when you need him. I, I like Bjorn. I like Bjorn. Thank you, Kamasutra. I, I like adult viewers that actually are helpful, man, you know? I like Hazel, because uh, I think it's a she. I don't know. I never asked. Um, always keeps me in check. My least uh, favorite viewer is called Tommy K Girlfriend, because I always get judged there. That's Rush 5 and 2, so I gotta do it, man. Gotta take it serious. The problem is, right, there's this game. There's this game on Twitch. Do, do this to any streamer. You know this game, guys? I hate this game, and I don't want to do it. Go to any streamer and tell them to name... 30 viewers the, the thing is so many streamers can do it so many streamers can do it man because you just black out you your brain doesn't name 30 viewers i think i can do this right now if i can't do it 100 gifted uh no bots allowed so like bjorn is not allowed is someone like bokwin allowed this is also not allowed no content creators no mods southern tyke has subscribed today southern tyke this is so hard, guys. This is so hard, man. There's no way I'm doing this. There's no way I'm doing this, man. Oh, scheiße. Because your brain turns... It's so funny. You couldn't... You can't imagine. But your brain just turns off. I should be allowed to take VIPs. Because they're nice people. That's not fair. I'm doing VIPs. Bjorn, fuck off. That's not fair. They're, they're part of the stream, okay? They're part of the stream. Bjorn. Then uh, there's this Luca guy. He's nice. I can do this. Easy. Fabian is watching. You know, Fabian. Let's just do everything. Let's see how far I can go. Bokuin watches sometimes. Uh, Dwight Falcon. One of my first viewers. Fucking... Um, who are my moderators? Doombot X. So unfair because I'm only doing people I know for many years. Let's just see I can get 30 without any rules. Uh, 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 what's his name? Riley from... Parox from what's his name? A fucking old yeller. Uh, 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 this is literally only my mods. Katsi Casimir. But this makes my mods understand I love them. Um, 
Vasers is a guy. I know a guy called Vasers. Fucking Van Pebble. Uh, fucking. Uh, Blue Engineer. He gives a lot of subs. I literally only know idiots, money givers, or mods. <laughs> Makes sense though. Uh, 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 what's his name? He's a super nice guy. He got married. He has a kid now. He gives a lot of subs. Obviously, Kaiser. Kaiser Lucas. Don't forget him. This is literally only the money people. Oh man, what's his name? Fuck, I forgot him. That's kind of not nice. Uh, Network Ninja. Network Ninja is a mod. Network Ninja. Who's an idiot when you look at chat? There's a guy called Tim the Tank. Tim the Tank with a four. I always laugh at his name. Tim the Tank is a guy. Tim the Tank is a guy. Um, look at Discord. Who do you talk to in Discord? Purin. Purin. Uh, fucking your mom. Um, mom lover 77. He's watching. I know that. Um, 18. Dude, you have such a blackout when you do this. Let's look at A, the number A. Is there a guy called A in chat? Uh, 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 isn't that called guy um, Ambraxis? There's a guy called Ambraxis. That's a weird one. I know there's a guy called like this, 100%. Uh, I'll, uh, 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 I'll, um, okay, let's go with B. Bjorn, B, 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 Benz, 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 Benz. Benz and uh, Belgian Butcher. Belgian Butcher. These are all just mods and money givers. I swear to God, dude. Uh, okay, 10 more. I can easily do 10 more. You guys suck. Breakfast. Okay, Blazon? No. C. C. Charlie? Ch Charles? No. D. The. Tom the Mad One. Tom the Mad One. That's the Finnish guy who gave me chocolate at ParaxCon. Tom the Mad One. Um, uh, uh, D. The. The. This card pixel. This card pixel is a guy. Yes. This card pixel. The the I would say the E E E Elsa L F F Oh Scheiße. I would say the E F F F F. Come, there's a guy called with F in chat. Fritz Flitschel Flappel Flubbel Faramir Fla. Fuck, Alter. I can't find anyone with F. F fl fl Flame Lord? No. I would say the AF. G. G. G G G G G Gustav doesn't count. Is he watching? G G G Alter Mann! Gary? I would say the AFG. Ha ha! Uh, ho homo! Ho ho homiobi! Ha ha! Fuck, Alter. Ha ha! Ha ha! I. I. Ing. There's a guy who has like a fire name. He always he subscribed yesterday. Fuck I do. Ha i j j y'all Jerome J J. There's a call called J. There's a there's a guy something called J J. His name is J J something J. I'm something J. Fucking hell. J J J. Jenny. J John. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, what comes after J? I'm looking at my keyboard. Is there a guy with Q? Quentin? Quen? Qual? Scheiße, the P. 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 Holy motherfucker. Give me a sec, guys. I'm not even fucking making this up right now. Imagine chat, chat. Tommy, imagine chat. Who's the guy who's painting your stuff? His name is Synth Viking. Synth Viking is the guy who painted my figurine. Synth Viking. Synth Viking. Synth Viking. Look who... Who gifted a lot of subs yesterday for your cards, Tommy? Who was that? His name was... His name was... Scheiße, Alter. Who gifted five subs? I'm such an asshole. Bjorn gifted subs, Engineer gifted subs, and then... Silent. Something was silent. Silent... Oh, Scheiße, ey. Fuck! I, I'm taking my time here. I don't give a shit. You can turn it off if you want to see more for... Fucking... K. 
KK. Uh, what's his name? Kicker. His name is KKK Kicker or some shit. Class KKK Kicker or some shit. K, something with K. Who was that guy at ParadoxCon? He was super nice. He's a really old sub with V. Oh man, what's his name? He was so nice to me. He was. He's a really old viewer with V. The man, alter scheiße. Look at ParadoxCon. Who was at ParadoxCon, Tommy? Who did you meet at ParadoxCon? Who texts you in Discord? Who are the idiots that always text you? Hazel! Hazel! Always like with the fucking left wing stuff. And Hazel has a, a girlfriend called Nikki in chat. These are two, um, I think two trans persons that always tell me if I don't behave well. They also wrote me an open letter yesterday that I didn't behave well. That's my two transgender viewers. I got you down. Tommy K knows his two transgender viewers. Hazel and Nikki, man. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Easy, man. Easy. Okay, who else texts you in Discord, Tommy? Who texts you in Discord like an idiot? I need a sec, guys. I'm not even making this up. I swear to God, I'm not making this up. Hazel and Nikki, so... Imagine you talk about politics. Who is the guy that mostly is like, oh, Tommy, here's my opinion. Um... Jesus, how the fuck is this possible? Is there a guy with a Waiki name in chat? Like a Rachno or something? No. Who is subscribing? Who, who's giving subs a lot, Tommy? German guys, people with German name, people with German names, German names are always dumb. There was a guy who subscribed today, he had a really dumb German name. Oh, fuck, Alter. Look at your keyboard. Look at G. G. No, look at look at Z. Zedorpian is a guy in chat. Zedorpian, right? That guy exists. Zedorpian. I see that name before. Zedorpian, yeah. Zedorpian? I know that guy. That is guys in chat. Yeah, I remember that name. Z. Z. Zaja Z. Z. There's no the Zukov in chat, really, is there? You, Almperwar, Almperwar is a guy, Almperwar? Is there any more use? Almperwar, Ulf, Ufizi, Ul, um, Umbra, Ramba, Ramba. Let's go with, let's go with I again. Or oh, let's go with, let's go with X, Xena, Xenolord, no. Scheiße. Maybe N and M, N and M, Tommy. Let's go with N. N, N, N Knight, Nightlord, N, N. Nubian Prince? Come on! Dude, three more, Tommy! Three more! Let's look at M and N. Master... Ma... Mm. Scheiße. Is there a red fox in chat? No, there's a fox somewhere, yeah. I thought, are you fucking retarded, Tommy? TBG still subscribes nowadays. TBG still watches. He is always resubscribing. TBG is resubscribing. That counts. That counts. TBG still subs. Easy. Look just at what are you big donators? Who are people that always give you money? This is a, there's a guy who always gives me money and I don't know him right now and he's gonna be very hurt. Um Eminem. Drake. There's a guy called Drake in chat. His name is like something Drake. Something Drake. Does that count? There's like this this Drake guy. That counts. His name is like something Drake. I need to know the full name, right? Oh fuck, I talk. Look at Discord. You you are at Discord. Who are the people there? Savvy is a viewer. Savvy totally counts. Savvy totally counts. Oh, he always watches. And finally, no hundred gifted subs for you guys, because I'm knowing my final viewer, and that is. The thing is, in a second, I will look at my chat and it's gonna be insane. 
Oh, Alter, I'm not making this. You have do this with other streamers, man. Then you get a complete brain freeze, man. Rachel K is watching. Rachel K is watching. That counts. There you go. Thirty. Fuck off. Got you. So who are Fomorians? I should know that. Menrick, yeah. Porkinator, I should know that one. Yes. Who are you, Genjack? I've never seen you before. Grand Admiral of Thrawn, I should know that. I should know that guy, actually. That guy's here a lot. Azores, yeah. A lot of you guys I've never seen before. Wolf Poops. Ay, 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 ay. Wolf Poops. Lexto was his name. Altoni. I don't... I think Dankus doesn't watch me a lot. Dankus doesn't count. I forgot Maddie. Oi, 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 oi. You forgot the mod of your child? That wouldn't have counted. Shekel. Oh, man. Uru Quail. <laughs> it's a hard game. Because as a streamer, you just look at the text. You never look at the names, man. You know? <laughs> Yatuvi? I've never seen you before. Who the fuck are you, man? It's funny how there's some people that are like, You didn't know me? I'm like, who are you? I've never seen you. Kirin. Three years up, man. <laughs> Kas Kikor König. Yeah, the KKK guy. There he is. <laughs> oh, I love it. Gran, Gran has subbed for a year. I've never seen him before. Who the fuck are some of you people, man? Solomon Maru? Fuck are you, man? The KKK guy. Alpur has zero messages in chat and is not following. Alpur is 100% a guy. 100%. 100%. Alpur exists. I know that for a fact. Easy, man. Easy. Oh, it's a hard game. It's a hard game. Um, I gotta get into tanks because that's the only way to win. We're gonna. Oh, I gotta rush heavy soon, right? There's a guy called Umper, 100%. Delfrain. Novi Tricks. Fuck Novi Tricks. Novi Tricks is an asshole. Fuck that guy. Jeffinator. There's a guy called Umper, a million trillion percent. Turbo District. Dude, he literally only knew his money givers. Look at these streamers, man. Pieces of shit. I actually get gurus in that whole thing. Crazy. Who was that JJ person? I don't fucking know. But as a streamer, you don't look at the names much, you know? But not knowing wolf poops hurts a bit. But I remembered Van Pebble. Reed, I should know Reed. Yeah, Reed. There's also two Benses. Well, I meant both, obviously. I don't think Feedback Gaming watches me a lot. He just likes to lurk and steal ideas from me. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I have something on my stream, the next day it's a video on Feedback Gaming's channel. <laughs> I love him. Was it JJ Black 01? Yeah, I totally that guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally. By the way, guys, no joke, right? When we reach the 4K sub goal and I'm playing Battle Lord again, we're running a mod that's probably working where you guys will randomly be chosen to be warriors in my army. When I have a warrior in my army, Battle Lord, they will have a random name from a guy in the chat. And that's uh, gonna be so great. I looked for that mod for a long time. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. That's gonna be so sick, man. If you guys fuck up, I can, like, name name who you are and stuff. It's really cool, dude. Where's Shogun? I probably will push Shogun to full 4.2k. The suffrage of the other sex. Sex is a construct, man, okay? Uh, no secret Germany during the Kaiser was infamous for its backward treatment of women. Even at a time when democracy such as the United States and Russia extended the rights of the suffragists to women, Germany, for whatever reason, still relented. The SVD realized the backwardness and is now giving women more rights. Secondly, after women, workers also matter. Let's do some worker rights, some nice bonuses. And I need to totally start taking this stuff if I want to have a chance fighting this late game shit here. Um... Let's take this guy first and army of fence. Yes. Also professional army corps is the best here. And I will need an air guy. Close air support bonus. Air is gonna be so important here. Air advisor cost research speed. Ooh, that's nice. Probably wanna take the research speed. By the way, we had some gifted subs, man. Hey, it's skits. Unlocked a question. Once again, five gifted subs is a personal question. Any more five gifted? Thank you for all the support, guys. I see you. That's the only one. No, Mooseland has gifted five. Mooseland? Thank you for all the subs, guys. Appreciate it, man. Let's rebuild this channel and play some Battle Lord. Two, two questions, man. There was one more? Yeah, Mooseland, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. What is the best meta? Oh, and yeah, Tui with the 20. That's four fucking questions. Jesus. Guys, today is podcast stream. Makoni hates this. He wants YouTube comment. But, man, I have 2.7k viewers. I think we're doing okay. Thank you, guys. Mad Max with the five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus, yeah, Tui! Mad Max, a lot of questions. We're going into podcast mode. 
I just want to see what the a XP gain is probably the best. A XP gain is probably the best. Update sub count? Yeah, give it. I need to people quick and then we do questions. Uh, I'm sorry for the Hoi 4 viewers that want to see the Hoi 4 content. I'm just really enjoying talking to you guys, and this is Twitch after all, and I like just talking. I'm going to people quick and then we're going to do go through some questions. Am I worried now? You're worried now. I'll probably still not remember you, but I love you, man. I'm just going to people quick. Let me actually put, uh, put um, the frame up and then baby break on it. One sec. Um, bam. One sec, guys. Is it old? Yeah. Black like frame is back. Okay, the black frame it looks a bit weird. Wait, there's a green frame. That's the wrong frame. That's the wrong frame I'm using. That's another. That's another frame. Nah, don't use that. But I need to do a thing that it says baby break here. Yeah, you guys remember when I had 4,000 subs? Lul. I'm just putting baby break here so people get in the future why I'm doing it. It should be comic sense, which it is good. Okay, guys. I'm just gonna pee and then we do the, all the questions. Thank you for the subs. Thank you, Tank Buster and Trip Flügel. I am back in a second. One sec, one sec. Oh, I'm so sweaty. My ass is. Holy shit, man. Okay, one sec, one sec. Hello everyone, hope you're doing good Tommy, laughing face. When he gets back spam F in chat for his hairline. May it rest in peace.
so confirmed we're gonna stream till 18.30, so like 50 minutes left on stream. Because I gotta help Lisa with the baby, man. And um, yeah, poor Lisa. Uh, the baby only sleeps in certain, um, in certain, how to say, um, positions. And Lisa has him right now like this, and she didn't move for one hour, man. She, she like, uh, uh, she doesn't feel her legs anymore. So let's do 30 minutes, man. We're lucky with that. We have some questions. I'm going speed free. Thank you for all the gifted subs. Let's go for some questions, boys. And let's play on speed free a bit. And yeah, we're just grinding the focus tree right now to get to the technocracy. Let's take a look at the questions, man. Based Lisa. What do we have here? What do we have, gentlemen? First question to get to know each other. What do you think about this question, dear viewer? How do you drink your coffee? Ooh. Ooh. There's gonna be these, these edge lords that are like um that are like uh only black big with my mouth. Uh -huh. Like I like my men. Milk cinnamon? Cinnamon. I'm a teacher, I drink it black or get bullied out of work. Ah, that makes sense. Probably also for people that people that work in offices, probably very black. Very black. I drink it like this. I, I'm not really a coffee guy, I don't like coffee. But if I drink one, I take a pleb coffee. So just a little bit of coffee and a shit ton of milk. I think that's called uh cafe latte. Like milk. And coffee. That's how I fuck. A little bit of sugar. That's what I had this morning, yeah. But I'm not really a coffee drinker, but... I like coffee that doesn't taste like coffee anymore. Like, lots of milk, lots of sugar. Yeah. Half milk to sugar. It's called a pussy? Fuck you, how's that? You're addicted to coffee and not me, you bitch. That's just a latte? I never understood the, the difference between cappuccino, latte macchiato, and milk coffee. Like... Is it like... What? You know? I don't ever understood that. Tommy drinks pussy, that's actually a good thing. Caramel syrup. Mm. Mm. Tea is better, yeah, I agree. My, my favorite hot drink is chamomile tea. Chamomile tea with, uh, with honey, man. That's some good stuff. Very, very good. I just shot it, be right back. All the best. The Belgrad pack is happening. They're invading the Sodom of Bulgaria. You're just drinking milk with some coffee in it. Yeah, true. I don't like coffee, man. I, I don't want to be addicted to coffee in. It makes you... It makes you um, dependent on it, right? Or, or, you know these people that are like, I can't function if I didn't drink my coffee. Isn't that like a bit loseristic? That you need coffee to function? And at some point, your body is so used to coffee in any way, you don't even have any positives anymore from it, right? You just became addicted to the industry. You know? Yeah, no, yeah, no. Gotta design some divisions soon, eh? So I think 20 with defenders. You gotta kinda play a broken style here. And I love 40 with still. But I might just make 20 with shit defenders. Because the only way to beat elite is with tanks, huh? Hmm. Or, or you do infantry spam with massive air. I like that tactic a lot. Infantry spam with massive air is pretty fucking sick, dude. Infantry spam of massive air. Hmm, I gotta think about that, man. I don't know. Because, man, since the new DLC, I'm not a big fan of tanks anymore. The fucking amount of research and all the stuff you have to put into tanks is often not worth it, man. If you have green air and cast two, you will win anyway. Who cares if you have a heavy tank? You can't beat their air, though. Ah, true. Because of elite difficulty, they have insane production board. True. True. Can't beat their air. Hmm. How many players are left in the Hoi 4 League? Uh, almost infinite and then we see where we go from there. Ah, right. huh, we will see. We will see. Next question. Next question. Next question. Have you ever been in uh, the poof, uh, in a red light thing? In a, in a, in a brothel? Uh, no, never. Never, ever, ever. Never. Never. No. Who has been in a brothel here? Huh? Be nice. Uh, be, be, be truthful. Come on, guys. There has to be one guy who wasn't a brothel. There we go. The non-subs. The non-subs. The non-subs. He's lying? I've never been a brothel, I swear, man. I think brothels are very, very sad. Because it's only Eastern European women that are getting exploited, man. How does that make you horny, man? You gotta be fucked in the brain to, to, to be into that. I've been to Red Light District, though, but never been inside. I work at a brothel? There's no way you work in a brothel. No way in hell. Uh, liberal education... 
bunch of research and stability. That's what liberals do, yeah? I think I was, but I never entered any. What? You can't really find them in the Middle East. <laughs> How do... If you live in the Middle East, you know men are men, even if you're a Muslim. You, you guys still have pressure on the old pipe, you know? How do you get rid of that? I feel like you guys stroke off just in, in, in private. Right? My opa was a janitor in a place like this. Wrong, I've actually been to a strip club in Dubai. It's just not public. You can just watch it free online. Yeah, isn't there that thing that after Ramadan, the uh, visitors of porn websites just skyrocket in the Middle East? Yeah, they all go to Bahrain. I have a brothel at your mom's house. Good one, good one, man. Actually, almost good. In Israel, that's outlawed. Well, they always fuck. No, don't make that joke. Don't. No, didn't do it. Did. Nope. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. Fuck off. Didn't do it. Next question. Next question. Next question. When you look 10 years into the future, do you see yourself living in a big house? Urban? Or in a in a in a in a in a in an apartment inside the city? Thank you, Yort. But most people will say house outside, right? At some point you want to get the fuck out. In 10 years I will live in the city. I just bought an apartment. I will live big in the city. I'm living very close to the city center now. But most people want to be outside. But you gotta be realistic, right? Thank you, Mindsoft AT. If I'm like old one day, like an old grandpa, I could imagine living in a weird house. A lot of people actually say apartment in the chat. I thought you guys were more like house people. The problem is... Anyone who wants to buy anything in the next 10 years is fucked anyway. You can't buy anything anymore of this economy. The the interest rate has gone up 0.75% yesterday again. I think we're lucky if we live uh, anywhere with a roof in the next 10 years, eh? My family owns two villas. Ah, wolf poops, huh? Wolf poops showing off here. I'm a small city guy. The thing is with big cities, you have the best internet, right? Especially in Germany. You can't really live in the village and be a streamer. It doesn't really happen. Maybe a coffin. True, yeah. I'm 18 now. I see myself as a university student, so I see myself living on the streets. Especially as an American student, that's for sure. We have four more questions. I want to focus on the game a bit. Okay, what? I don't understand this. What is your hippest pleasure? Like, I guess, like, guilty pleasure, but hip? Oh, I, what? The, your hippest pleasure? I guess, like... What young kids are into or something? Like using TikTok? What's your hippest pleasure? Andrew Tate. Listening to vanilles. Nah, that's a good answer, I guess. Fast food? How is fast food a hip pleasure? Fast food is fast food. If I come to Germany, it's easy to get a German girlfriend. Bro, if you already write something like this into a Twitch chat, you probably should even try. Um, what is your hippest pleasure? Something that is hip nowadays, and I, I li and I like it, and I do it. Well, a lot of you guys is probably TikTok. Um, I think, I think shoes for me. Like I buy market shoes just because they're market shoes, trend, trade market. Like I have pretty good shoes, but I don't give a fuck about them. I just do it because. So I guess, like young kids, they care about shoes, right? When you see these kids in the streets, man, my shoes are better than my yours. So you're losing 2K followers now, bitch. I, I, I guess, shoes. I guess. I don't use China spy apps. Joe Rogan has just read the terms of service of TikTok, right? And showed that in his latest episode. That was really funny. Like, if you go to TikTok, you give so many rights away. They're allowed to check your, all the data on your phone and stuff like that. Kind of crazy. Hiring Scandinavian escorts. That sounds amazing, dude. What are you talking about? How is that hip? That is super elitist. Liberal education. We're getting closer. Human pensions. Imagine that. Hmm. I don't think audiobooks are hip. Are they hip? Listening, listening to podcasts, I think, is a hip, hip pleasure, right? I guess so. Um, let's go with this question here. What do we have? What has been as a teen and right now your favorite curse? Like, talking shit about someone. Like, fuck you, motherfucker. As a teen and right now, what was your favorite... Whoa. 
I think both of your mom? Hmm. Wow, as a kid, I would say a lot of... Wow. That's really hard. I make a lot of mom jokes. I use Vogel a lot. Vogel, uh, which means bird. Like, to Vogel, Alter. I use that a lot. And I use a lot of Spast, which probably is a bit not very sensible. Uh, it's like spastic. We use that a lot in Germany. I like Muppet a lot lately. I say Muppet a lot, but I say Spast a lot. To Spasti. Like, in, in Road Rage, when someone does stuff in, in, in the car, I'm like, you fucking are you. Spast a lot, you know. Very insensitive. So I guess. Spast, the motherfucker, your mom. Hurensohn sometimes. I like Muppet, man. Muppet is fucking amazing, man. I learned it from the Liverpool people. Du Tröte? Du alte Butterbirne. Okay, okay, okay. Probably want to take this, even though I just want it for army XP. Army XP is going to be very important if I want to have a set, uh, uh, chance here. Yeah, Wuhan is very big in Germany. Very, very big. All the Arabian rappers say it, so all the kids say it too. Yeah. Okay, two more questions. And then we focus 30 minutes on the game. Oh, oh. Well, the answer is Andrew Tate. Which prominent person do you think is cool, even though you would never openly admit it? Uh, Tommy K. Uh, Tommy K. Who do you think is cool, but you will never admit it? <laughs> Andrew Tate. <laughs> Funny. Hitler. <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> Adolf Hitler. Um, wow. Who do I think is a poutine? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hitler. Who do I think is a cool, prominent person, but I would never say it? The thing is, I really don't give a shit. I, I don't ever feel scared of saying it. Um, like, you know, many people don't like Tom Cruise. I like Tom Cruise. I will openly say that. Where am I too shy to say I think they're cool? That's really hard, man. I really don't know. Olaf Scholz. Uh... I guess, but it's, I don't really have one, because I will always be honest. I think this is more like for the Germans. Uh, Robert Habeck. I like Robert Habeck a lot. I like this guy a lot. But every time I say that openly, I get a lot of fucking... Toby! Toby! Robert Habeck is a politician in Germany. I, I like this guy a lot, man. But the reaction from the Germans is always a little bit, you know... You know, that Hoyt for death you had beef with. I have no idea who that is. What? Kathleen Jenner? Alex Jones. I think top answer, Adolf Hitler, right? Just a joke. Just a joke. Just a joke. Uh, it feels like he is the only one who actually tries. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Final question. Great question. How would you do the perfect murder? Wow. How would you do the perfect murder? Alter, that's hard. How would you do the perfect murder? <laughs> Hire John Wick. Ice arrow? Easy. <sighs> like, I will tell you. Make him play CK3 10 hours a day. Push someone down the stairs and say they fell easy. That's a hard question. Dude, I'm kind of contemplating if I should even do tanks or just focus on good infantry with massive air. A big question, man. I think tanks later, but air first. Makes mad sense here. It's gonna not be easy. Perfect murder, man. Hmm. Ask Hillary Clinton. <laughs> That's hard. Wow, I cannot answer that. I probably would start first to stalk that person, learn their patterns, see what they do every day. And then look for moments in their pattern where they're completely alone and there's no witnesses. Then I will have to try to get an alibi that I was never there. That would be hard. Thank you, König von Gönneburg. I would have to do something that they think I'm, I've never been in that there. Then... Oh. Thank you, Ramjam. Thank you, my dude. Uh, then... Oh. That's hard. Very hard question. 
learn their patterns, get an alibi, and then look for a weakness inside. Like, maybe they keep a door open. But then you have to be careful that, like, your skin particles and shit is not in, in the room. Oh, that's very hard. I don't know, man. Getting an unregistered gun will be... I don't know. That's hard. I don't know, man. I don't know. Just take your friend's phone and text your victim to meet you in a forest. Kill your victim and remove all their teeth. But they will get back on your text, though, man. They will see, like, IPs and stuff. Make sure the time of death is uncertain. That's hard. Katzenkönig? Dude, the Katzenkönig case. How do you fucking know that? That's uh, the first case you have in criminal law. The Katzenkönig Perfect case. Murder. Make them watch your WoW content. Instant death without Fuck even you, touching them. Shit. This is the first case that you do in Criminal Law 101 in Germany. Uh, I wanna... Uh, man, where is it? Uh, like English? This is the first case you do in... Uh, <laughs> this is a big, big case in Criminal Law. So what happened is... What happens is this. Oh, this is, this is crazy. Listen to this. This is uh, like the first exam in law school. Um, three people live together. Peter, Barbara and Michael. They live together. Now, Peter and Barbara, they manage successfully to tell Michael that the Cat King exists. Thousands of years ago, there was a great evil and that was the Cat King. He generally fucking believes it, generally. Now, um, now, Barbara and Peter want to kill Annemarie. They want to kill her. So what they do is they tell Peter, the retard, M Michael, Michael, this is, dude, welcome to law school. They tell Michael, the retarded monkey that believes literally into the Cat King, that, that Michael has to kill Annemarie or the Cat King is going to do something evil. Now, what happens is that Michael is murdering Annegret because he believes if he doesn't do it, the Cat King is going to get him. He genuinely fucking believes it. The question is, how are all people uh, uh, accountable? This is a big thing in criminal law. It's like the first semester. First semester, man. Yeah, and then he kills her, and then you have to check how are they criminal. Do you guys care about the solution, or do you guys want to see, actually see her for? <laughs> That's a big thing in the, in the first criminal uh, class, criminal law class. Do you guys care? So the solution is, let me do myself if I'm good at law school still. So first of all, it's uh, murder because it has uh, lowly, uh, f low level uh, thinking. So the guy who kills her is first of all, this is deep shit. The guy who does it is manslaughter and not murder because he doesn't have any murder uh, attributes. But the two people that told him to do it, they have uh, Anstiftung zum Mord, which means um, when you tell, if I tell you, hey, you go kill someone, I still get stuff, right? I don't know how to call it. It's not Beihilfe, it's Anstiftung. Anstiftung zum Mord, instigation to murder. But the funny thing is, it's not instigation to manslaughter, it's instigation to murder because they have a murder attribute fulfilled. So let's check if I'm right. Yeah, who was er? Sorry. So the guy, oh wait, no. Ah, okay, so R, so the retard actually did a murder because mm -hmm. uh, he did the murder attribute, uh, you know, in Germany, it's like, there's a difference between manslaughter and murder. If I go around the city and kill a random person, that's manslaughter. If I kill you with certain attributes, though, it's murder. For example, in this case, um, he killed her when she was sleeping. So he was using the defensiveness of the, the person, and that's murder. So the main guy gets murder. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. But the other guys? So, the, the instigators. They have not been instigators, but oh, that's deep shit. This right here is some deep law school shit. They are not instigators, but there are actual, real murderers. But they did the murder through someone else that they used as a tool of murder. And that's why they're also murder. Wow, that's like really big shit, man, in law school. Like, they're not instigators. It's really weird. You have to... Law school is all about 
comparing stuff. Like, um, for example, did they instigate someone or did they actually show certain that under certain definitions that they did their own murder? It's really fucking. I remember in law school, the biggest. You want to hear real law school stuff? This was one of the biggest things in law school. I remember this. Sorry. There we go. One of the biggest things in law school. Uh, oh, how do I do this? How do I do this? Oh, that's so big in law school, man. The the difference between um, grobe Fahrlässigkeit und bedingter Vorsatz. So that means the following. You, you are an American and you like to shoot guns. You always go out into the forest and you just shoot your guns at the trees. You're into that shit. Um, you get a call from your mom and she says... Man, today I'm gonna walk the dog in the park where you live, and after that I will visit you. You're like, okay, mom, can't wait to see you. You now go into the park, you shoot your gun at the trees, and you accidentally kill your mom. Is that um, complete negligence, or is it... Um, oh, how do you say Vorsatz? This is very hard in English. Vorsatz, English. Did you kill her with intent, or did you kill her with... Uh, or did you kill her with negligence? Or did you kill her with negligence? And the point is, this is actually a real manslaughter and not even it's uh, with intent. Because uh, the thing is, in, in law school, you learn this person had the information that there's a risk of murdering someone and he took the risk anyway without caring about it. It's about the difference between intent and negligence is if you know there's a risk, but you still do it. Like, if you randomly shoot a gun in the air and your bullet drops and kills someone, that's not intent, that's negligence. Because you never thought this could happen, you know? Yeah. Law School 101. I'm losing a lot of viewers. I just lost 700 viewers. Okay. Hoi 4, Hoi 4, Speed 4, Speed 4. Speed 4, we're gonna build up, we're building up. Okay, we need to build a sick army on this difficulty, man. Okay, let's go, let's go. 700 viewers gone. Higher education grants. Electric resource speed. We're trying to get this, and then I need Karl Liebknecht to retire so we can become Kruppstahl. Uh, mega core. Chief of Army. Ooh. Wow, that's a huge decision here in this difficulty. 10 attack is obviously sick. Minus 10 supply and 10 defense is also insane. Minus plus 10 orc and minus 10 supply is sick. Wow, that's a big decision, man. This one is a big defense one. Wow, that's a big decision, man. That is actually a massive decision. I want to make my own decision without you guys telling me what to do. Heinz is only good if I generally fucking do a lot of um, tanks. The thing is that these ones have overall bonuses, like overall defense and stuff. Especially minus 10 supply. Because I don't remember, but doesn't Elite Difficulty give me 50% more supply use, right? The problem is I forgot what the Elite Difficulty does. Thank you for two years, Moonin, man. Elite Difficulty Hoi 4. Is there like a link or something? Difficulty. Halfway through my four -year Elite. No, no, no. I don't have any problems. I just don't produce a lot. Oof. Oof. And the enemy has no no issues. But I still, ha I, still I still have the same. I don't have logistical issues. Okay. So, let's go with Heinz into tanks. You guys love that. I'm trying the tanks. Ooh, risky. Risky, risky. I gotta do tanks now. I can, I can still decide if heavy or medium, but heavy makes probably more sense. Ooh, thank you so much, Moonin Man. Thank you. How is he still in 1937? I was just talking to chat having fun, okay? Sorry that I'm having fun. All of the negligent viewers are leaving to talk to their lawyers. <laughs> This is not gonna be a joke, man. Let's try, let's try. I think I'm not gonna propose a good infantry division. I'm gonna make a basic 20 with, like right here. Just for defense, so I focus more on important stuff. Because I have minus 30% production, right? Defense. I have, yeah. This is my basic proposition of infantry. This is a tactic you've been doing in multiplayer for many, many years now. Uh, because you now have more mills to focus on tanks and, and air. Do you want to have great infantry, great air, and great tanks at the same time? That costs you a lot, man. That's very hard to do. So, this way I don't have to even care about anti- uh, Building artillery too, though, you muppet. Yes, yeah, for later. Shit, I'm doing artillery too, though. But I can still put some artillery in tanks. And maybe later make a better infantry. Ah, that's a bit of a... 
Ah, come on, Tommy, that's a bit dumb. I even want to switch it, I think. I'm switching it. Don't be stupid. Don't do dumb shit. Artillery 2 just makes no sense here if I decide to go against it. Don't do it. It, it gives you the, the, the tank gun anyway. True, it gives me the tank gun anyway. True. I will go back to artillery 2. True, I did not fuck up. It's supposed to be 5 here for the last 20 minutes. I have to stop in 20 minutes and you guys deserve some content. I was talking a lot today. I'm sorry, guys. Let's go. Yeah, I need to actually do artillery too. German Industry Miracle. I get... I just get insane buffs. This one is very important because it makes my economy go insane. Which I need on this difficulty a lot. Minus 40 production is pretty fucking insane. Can I see it right here? Let me show you guys. Oh, where is it? Elite difficulty, minus 30% base cap production, yeah. We sometimes forget not finishing law school. Not at all, zero. Um, I, I'm very, very happy human being, and I think that every decision I did in my life led to what I have today, which is a great family, great friends, and an amazing job. I'm really happy with everything that happened in my life. I have no regrets, zero. Numbers don't lie, and the numbers show... I mean, oh my god. I don't care about the lore that much, I just really want to show if I can pull off technocratic Germany and Kaiser Redux on elite difficulty, man. Are oh, you happy with chat? It's okay. What's the best book to begin Warm 40k with? I think you should watch 40k YouTubers, especially Luatin09, uh, who is a great introduction into Warhammer. You should well, you should listen to Warhammer YouTubers first, in my opinion. Let's get this gun. Actually, not ahead of time. Thank you, Leroy, my brother. Are you Technocrat RL? I just unblocked you, Puirin. You fucking be careful. I just literally unblocked you. Don't fucking play with me, dude. The Onyx P income looks quite okay right now. Fleet or air. Let's get the air guy. And I have the final one here. Um, This one is sick for entrenching. Division speed. Division speed doesn't really help so much in this difficulty. 15 reconnaissance. Thank you, Ram Jam. That's a question, man. Thank you very much, Remy boy. Thank you for the five, man. I'm going to ask the question at the end of the stream. Thank you so much, brother, man. Thank you. What do you think is the best on high difficulty here? 15% reconnaissance. Walk loss man moving is sweet. This one is very defensive. This one is big attack. This is big breakthrough of tanks. I think my meta is going to be that my tanks break through everywhere. That's going to be my meta. And I need a cast bonus here. Um, air home defense. That's pretty sick. Air power projection. Ground attack plus five. That's good for cast. Thank you so much, Ramjam, man. Thank you for rebuilding the stream, guys. We're on our way to 4K and that means the world to me, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. I cannot wait to play Game of Thrones again with the Soldier mod if it finally gets updated. I was talking to some devs yesterday, and yeah, I need to wait for that mod to be updated. It takes a while. So, shitty infantry with heavy tank twos and green air. That's my goal. That's my goal. We have some time for the question real quick. Let's do it. Thank you very much, Ram Jam. Your question is, which movie title would describe your life at the moment the best? Der Untergang. <laughs> what movie title will describe your life right now the best? Uh, my answer will be yeah, Der Untergang. Okay. We're doing the Deutsche Abschirmdienst, which is my intelligence agency. And after that, he retires or something. Groundhog Day? Scarface? Huh. What movie title? Bad Neighbor. What movie title will describe your life right now? Hangover. Hmm. That's hard. I'm a dad that doesn't sleep much and streams a lot. <laughs> Rise of Gru. How I met your mother. Drive. I'm literally Ryan Gosling. Okay, man. I am legend. Good one. Scary movie. Thank you, Damocles. Uh, wow, that's hard. I don't know. The Simpsons movie American Pie. Okay, after this, I need to wait for him to downfall. I, I think my answer is going to be downfall. And you have to do Freiheit as well. Okay, the guy says I need to also do this focus. I leave the international and I get a massive bonus. Minus 10 consumer goods. And then this guy retires or something. Certain. So after Leap Clash retires, you have to go Democratic. DLP and finish all their focusing, including host a party. Which gives you the corporate dictatorship. 
Hellboy. Dunkirk, because it's going slow. Okay, he's gonna retire soon or something. Japan announces her ambitions. That's her pronouns. And I need to do this one, the guy said. Massive bonus here. And I'm leaving the international. And after that, he's gonna retire or something. And then I do the democratic focuses. I got a lot of economy back. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Probably will need fuel like a madman. I'm probably gonna need some mad fuel. But that focus was done instantly. Holy shit. Was it... Oh, that was... Okay, nice. So now I wait for him to retire and I go with the Democrats. Formation of the NVR. This is some... I can just go in here a bit. Sure. 100 command power. This is making the National Folks Army the Communist Army. And now he, re he retires or something? <laughs> right? Let me check this again. The YouTube the guy here told me. In the Congress like SPD and then Deep Cash will retire after 100 days. And now to do democratic promises. Red Flood. A lot of events, man. There's no speed fiving. Fuck speed fiving. Recruit the head of intelligence. Nah, I need PP for more important stuff. And now I need Liebknecht to retire. That's what I need right now. Okay. Okay. So I'm building these basic fox. Ihre Befehle. Oh shit, I have no commanders? Will I get them later or do I have to start from ground? That's really bad. Fucking hell. E. <laughs> okay, I only have 10 minutes left, so let's just really go in a bit here. You will get them later? I got my first spy. Just gonna... Otto Schulz. That's not actually Pierce Brosnan. That's Tom Cruise in, in that movie with uh, Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> Fucking hell, Pierce Brosnan, dude. Let's go. Just defend home for now. The NVR 3 might give you that. We will see. I don't think it does, man. Gain a central command depending on the previous choices. My least favorite part of the stream is when it ends. Um... Man, look at that 30% research debuff. It hurts, man. I still need to do that for guns. For the tanks. Chief of Staff. Special Forces. Entrenchment. Artillery. Armor attack. I'm going... I'm gonna hope that my armor fixes this. I think Elite is so broken that your tanks need to just make you win. Oh, there you go. That's how you get them. Okay, nice. Heinz Guderian, Alter. That's good. Panzer leader. As a field marshal. Holy shit. Hauptquartier Berlin. Berlin. Offensive doctrine, aggressive assaulter. And panzer expert. Yes. Um, we're gonna be uh, a technocratic Kruppstahl uh, technocracy soon, so. Um, I don't have to name the name. We're doing that later when, when the world play uh, says it. When I'm actually a technocracy. Um, oh, I'm not allowed to take political officers. I get skilled officer bonus, which gives me a bunch of bonuses, which I generally fucking need. If you do heavy tanks, you need to research anti-artillery. What? What the fuck is anti-artillery, man? CK free streams also good. Thanks for the content these past days. What are you talking about? You, you mean Banner Lord? I'm actually thinking about returning to CK free soon and giving it a chance. The problem is every time I give it a chance, I just get super um, uh, what's it called? Disappointed. It means anti-tank gun probably. I don't, I don't disagree with that. No, I want to break through infantry mostly. That's I disagree with that. I want a soft attack heavy tank with cast support. I, I'm thinking of giving CK3 not a chance, but I don't fucking know, man. I always try and then I just, you know. So we are getting the next weapon. Again, we're running 30% research debuff. Do a CK3 achievement run. Ugh. Ugh. With CK2 Vanilla, guys, I feel like I've done everything. I've done everything in CK2 Vanilla that I wanted to do. You need to roleplay your characters for CK3 to be fun. And that's what I can't do. I can't roleplay characters in CK3. That's the problem. Gotta wait for, like, an inventory and guilds and stuff, you know? 
One thing I would actually be very interested in is, um, you know, in CK2 there was in a DLC once called Merchant Republics. You could play Genoa and Venice as Merchant uh, Republics. That was nice. I would like to do that in CK3. It was a great DLC. Not so nice folks here getting a land doctrine bonus. How is he re retiring? Uh, am I doing something wrong? I need him to retire, man. I need him to retire, otherwise we're fucked. But he should retire soon. He should retire soon. I hope I retire soon. It takes 100 days. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm being too rushy here, man. It takes 100 days. Getting some nice bonuses before the focus tree changes. Or maybe I stay with Enfil the whole time. Probably I'll have to build some oil later. There's inventory and items in CK3 now. Wrong only if you're a leader, you can put certain items into your royal court. If you're a guy that works for someone else, you're not allowed to have part of the royal court. So in that case, you don't have an inventory. Not true. That's not true, right? Why am I wrong? You're wrong? You have items still. I was playing a, the Count of Halle with the new DLC and I didn't have an inventory because I wasn't an independent lord. I remember that. Kings and emperors can royal courts, but everyone has an inventory. Okay, then I was wrong, I guess. Dude, I'm fucking 31. Use your head. We will see, guys. We will see. Maybe there's a sub goal for CK3, even though I feel like there he is. Okay, he retires. So, what now? What now? Oh, shit. I have my superior firepower, right? It's just too broken, superior firepower. But the 20 breakthrough? Fuck it. I'm going all out tanks. All out tanks. So, he retires. Let me just check this board. When he retires, he go democratic DLP. Let me just finish that focus. He didn't retire. Is he still gonna return? Now you go Democrats. Thank you, Raymond. I guess I have to wait for. I need this one. The... I hear the promise of democracy. The venerable Kalipesh announced that he was resigning due to his advanced age. Free elections ought to be held to decide the future of the Republic, which had been given a new liberal constitution. The radical members of the SPD denounced the fact that the election will be open to any party and not only to the socialist ones, which will sign the end of socialist democracy, end of the revolution. Several parties were formed and aimed to win. Okay, this would be a good way to finish the stream today, where we go with the uh, technocratic tree. But so far we did well. Thank you for the guy who told me how I need to play this. And we're becoming a Germany that's led by the... Um, by, by Krupp. By Krupp. Krupp, Krupp, Krupp. Have you ever been to Frankfurt? Uh, yes, once. A uh, very full city. Made too many people, man. I need to wait at the airport for another three hours. Is there any way you could continue the stream? I'm sorry, man. I gotta... You know, Lisa is, is really alone with the baby, and that's not very fair to her. Lisa also hasn't eaten in a while, and I gotta make some food for her. My famous quesadilla, so I'm sorry, man. That woman and that kid. Unfortunately, you go first. I know it sucks. 20% mill construction. Mashallah. Holy moly. Yes, that's amazing. Krupp! I'm becoming Krupp! Dude, Krupp is amazing. 20% mill building. Jeez. Battlefield support, obviously. Okay. The only way I uh, fun in CK3 is having the one proper brain RP gameplay style. What, what does that mean? What is that? I don't think I'm a guy that needs to know how to roleplay, but what, what is his roleplay style? What is that? Krupp sponsored stream when? Hey guys, today we're sponsored by a great sponsor called Kruppstad. Yes, with the code TommyK, you can get 10% off your next submarine order. Woo! Delay. We're getting somewhere good. We're getting good, we're getting good. Hashtag ad. Promise of democracy. I need to use the DLP. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me read again. I don't want to fuck up. Finish all DLP focuses. Un including the last one host a party which then gives you the dictatorship okay cool is Koop a thing these days uh, I have actually no idea is Koop a thing nowadays I think so don't they make submarines and shit Koopstahl is still big right no was no they renamed it to something what did they rename it what, uh, what did they rename it I remember that 
They renamed into Hirsch Thyssen Group. Thyssen Group, yeah. Yeah, Thyssen. They're Thyssen Group now, yeah. <laughs> Which still sells submarines to Israel and stuff. <laughs> Sorry, my allergy. I need the DLP market liberals. No more communism, boys. Gustav Krupp. Herr Krupp. This is what happens when Elon Musk takes over America, bro. Let's go. Finish all the focuses. Total privatization, man. Unregulated capitalism. The market is gonna fix it. Fuck, I like this. This is my style. During its mandate, the SPD nationalized almost all industries and stripped the poor landlords of their property. Not anymore! Now that we are in power, we'll be able to privatize as many sectors in the economy as possible. Artillery 2, okay. Oh, LG, sorry. I'm gonna do some of these, not too many though. Luckily, I have some experience in this game, and I know that the big issue in this difficulty is really just gonna be that you can't. You have to encircle everything. You 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 can't fight them head on. You gotta encircle, encircle, encircle. You have minus two weak stability. Fake. Not true. Maybe I can finish this in today's stream, and then tomorrow we can finish the campaign with Krupp. Christoph Lindler wants to join the game. Christian. It's gonna be very interesting soon, man. I genuinely believe that the notion that the market, like, wasn't it? What was? Who said the free hand of the market? Andrew, something with A. What was his name? I genuinely disbelieve in that stuff, and I think it's proving very, very wrong. If you look at capitalism in the West nowadays, if you leave it alone, it just corrupts people, and the rich get richer and eat everything. Adam Smith, Andrew Tate. Adam Smith, the free hand of the market. I think nowadays in the globalized world, the free market is a wrong idea and the FDP in Germany is wrong about that. It is crystal clear if you look at the, the proof in the world that if a market runs free, it's all about um, exploitation of poor labor. It's about exploitation of middle and lower classes. It, it, uh, it, it, it uh, transfers a lot of wealth to the top 1%. Uh, it's, it's against the environment. Can't leave the market alone. I very much think there's a lot of proof against that. Employer rights are coming back. I get production and consumer goods, but lose some stability. Don't be such a sissy. Finally, you see it? I always fought like that. What are you talking about? I always fought like that. Based communist? I think it's called a based uh, brain user. This is gonna be a very interesting game. I wonder if I get uh, actually some focus to detect people. First, the mega core. Cheap labor for the machine. The next Vogel in Portugal. I'm getting cheap labor in Portugal. Cheap labor in Portugal. Will you ever give Eldering a chance? No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm waiting for Sky Oblivion. I'm waiting for Skywind. I'm waiting for Dark Tide. I'm waiting for Hoi 4 DLC. I'm waiting for Zomboid 42. I'm waiting for Immortal Empires. That's what Tommy K is up right now, man. That's what's up, man. That's what I'm looking for. What do you think about nuclear energy? Blah, 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 blah. In its core, nuclear energy is not good. Many people just cope there. In the end, nuclear energy has its problems. But unfortunately, nuclear energy is our only way right now to get away from dependence of Russia and their gas and to get away from coal mining. It, nuclear energy will be a great solution to be there for a transition period where we use nuclear energy to slowly get into green energy. And obviously, anyone with a brain knows that Germany has done a massive mistake. Uh, actually, the CDU under uh, Angela Merkel has done a massive mistake where they used the Fukushima uh, problem which is caused by uh, earthquakes and tsunamis uh, to get the popular vote in Germany and actually turned the uh, AKWs off which is a massive mistake which would have very much needed them um, yeah first base Tommy take fuck off I'm always right SPD do that uh, no CDU did that after Fukushima, Angela Merkel has initiated um, that that, po that that law that uh, within uh -uh many years all the uh, nuclear power plants in Germany have to turn off. But I think she was in a coalition with the SPD at that point, right? The last Italy stands. Dude, he fucking took off Italy. That's never happened before. Oh shit, he has a puppet now. Under the Pope? Julius? Oy, 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 crazy. That was Schröder, bro? No. No, you're super wrong. 
Nuclear is a long-term solution. I disagree with that. Nuclear power plants have fucking nuclear waste. There's nuclear waste that doesn't dissolve for millions of years. So running around acting like nuclear power is the savior and super clean is just fucking ridiculous. Remove feminism? An ad state show? I'm becoming Andrew Tate? Holy shit, crack down on the left? Oh shit, I'm fully Andrew Tating this, man. Nuclear power is a short-term solution, man. And anyone saying long-term is completely an idiot. Um, holy shit, we're entertaining this shit. Holy crap. Andrew Tate made nuclear power. Okay, we're getting closer to war. The question is if, uh, if he still has war means focus. That's going to be very interesting. Tatism wins. What's the time? I, I got to kind of call the stream here. Uh, I'm gonna finish this focus and then I have to call it. I gotta be there for Lisa. Uh, even Jesus removes fem feminism. <laughs> Everybody removes feminism, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I gotta. Uh, we're gonna finish this tomorrow. Oh man, I'm getting issues with spice. Let's start with passive defense here. Jesus removes feminism. <laughs> oh money. Yes, but the green party is against nuclear power energy right now. Yes, you're right. And that's a mistake. But just because I vote green doesn't mean... One thing is very, very important in life, you have to understand. Just because someone votes for something doesn't mean he agrees with it, right? Fully. It doesn't fully agree with it. I have a lot of issues with the green party. Still, I think they're the best alternative. Democracy is about choosing the best alternative out of a lot of shit ones. And I think if you expose all the German parties, the one with the least exposed uh, content is the green party. Which is why I vote for them. <gasps> Hitler would vote green. Yeah, and your mom should have voted for an abortion. Oh! Oh, we gotta call it. We gotta call it. Destroyed GG. I see you tomorrow, lads. I'm sorry. That was a fun stream. I really enjoyed this. We talked a lot. We had fun. 2.7k viewers, man. That was great. Thank you very much, guys. I gotta make some money now for Lisa, the mom of my child. And I see you tomorrow where we keep pushing this campaign. Maybe eventually even finish it, man. And then we see what we do after that, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the subs. I enjoy it. And I thank you. If you want to support the channel and look good, check out whykingsinparis.net. Okay. All the YouTube channels, man. I see you tomorrow. Nothing but love. Um, the, the streams are short. But again, I have a kid, man. And it's going to get better with time. Thank you, guys. And um, love each other.